Good evening and welcome to this week's episode of Eat, Quit and Survive where a bunch of friends are gathered around the table to play some Dungeons and Dragons and Laura flaps as she does. <laughs> Connor is for a glass. Right. Ross, would you mind getting Connor a glass? I would mind, yes. Oh, you just drink it straight, don't you? First cupboard. But I waited for Laura for so long and then I sat down and went, oh crap. I sat down and realised I forgot everything. I was only so so many things that I could actually help with. Yeah, the Disney princess cup. Would you like the yeah. poison ivy tiny glass Ooh. or a wine glass? Wine glass, please. <laughs> <laughs> Frost Knight GT saying, just popping by from Manchester to say hello. Hey, Frost Knight. We Hi. will... Popping by from Manchester. Manchester. That's a long way. I know, right? <laughs> We will uh, we will see you at Aircon because all that's happening. So hopefully we'll see you at Aircon when that happens around again. Um, yeah, we are back once again with some more DD. So. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, it is d and time. We are all gathered once again, even the silent German partner who sat in the corner waving. <laughs> She's returned. Our number one fan has returned. No, no, no. She's awesome. not our number one fan anymore. Oh, yeah. She doesn't yeah. have a uh, twitch anymore. Number two 71 fan. pounds of her. <laughs> <laughs> Which means... If you have Twitch Prime, now's the opportunity to become a number one fan. Yes. Yes. It is also Ooh. it's also September, so you can uh, subscribe uh, for your favourite channels. Maybe us, if it is. Yay. Uh, love having you. Um, you can yeah, do it for cheaper. Not, not? For cheaper? <laughs> yeah. you can. Get, I think it's like 20% off for September. Yeah, definitely cheaper Prime sub. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you've got your Prime yeah. sub, drop it in here. Um, we will appreciate you forever. We can see our last one was copacetic, dude. You could gift a sub cheaper. And then Prime sub yourself. Mm. There you go. Life if is you're in a giving mood. Oh dear. But yes, we are going to be playing some D and D tonight. Uh, but as always, we are supported certainly from this campaign and for most of the streams that we're doing recently by Game Tea, who are the purveyors of wonderful gaming adjacent gear and goods, such as this shirt that I'm wearing. I don't know. Albert! I didn't wear mine today. Can you stand up? There's my there's, there's uh, Albers. Albers. There, there we go. There we go. Albers. The trio Albers. of Albers. Albers. You're ruining the illusion that you have a torso and legs. <laughs> well, I don't have them. Yeah. Uh, yes, I have torso and legs, but I can put over that torso. I can put on a game tee shirt. Tops. I can use my hands that you can see that I definitely have to write in a notebook, such as the one that Connor has. <gasps> And I have a head with a nose, which means I can smell the candles that are uh, available from Game Tea. Join us every Wednesday for Candle Corner. <laughs> and, and, board board games. Games. and board games. And board games. But more importantly, Candle Corner. Yeah, board games if we have time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, after <laughs> Candle Corner, we usually don't. The book also doubles as a weapon. <laughs> as I found out sometimes when I remove it from my bag. Ooh. It's stuck at the bottom. Close are you to the book? Well, no, because like, it gets stuck at the net and at the bottom and you pull it out oh. and it's like... Ah, <laughs> and absolutely. Oh, you are so well made. Mm. I think you were born with a curse Very on yourself. Sturdy. Of course you was. The whole family. <laughs> the Royce family. Yeah, based on how your brother... Yeah. yeah. No, right? Oh. Yeah. Was he in yeah. the taxi? Get, get yeah. out soon. Right, yeah. I couldn't understand which, which vehicle he was in. The one that was missing the whole room. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he was sat in the The one was half like half. The one that might need a small insurance claim. <laughs> a small one. Tad. Buffer out. Yeah, I'd like a bit of tea cut. Yeah. Some elbow grease. You should be able to replace that. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Plunger. <laughs> Yeah. Hair dryer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just smell it. It'll <laughs> pop out. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as we were saying, as Laura was saying, we do play board games on Wednesday. We just had the stream last week where we were playing with Sovereignty. We played a couple of really interesting games with them yes. that Don got yes. very happy with. We had a very excited Seppi uh, joined us, the designer of cat, uh, no, mouse, cheese, cheese cat, cat, cucumber. cucumber. Hey, I remember the order of the words. Uh, he taught us the game and then left us to play it. Which was very that nice isn't bit. one of the ones like we have to say in order because that that game really. No, that was me. Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. It can oh, be. God. You can understand oh, where there could be some yeah. confusion. Yeah. However, I never want to round them. Wounds just bleeding from the hands. It can, yeah. Um, delicious. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of a maze-making game. 
where you've got a secret role and you know if you're the mouse you want to get to the cheese if you're the cat you want oh. to get to the mouse that kind of thing and if you're Kaiser Cucumber you want everyone to kill each other yeah. Yeah. Kaiser Cucumber yeah he's a cucumber with a monocle he's and a moustache um, oh, obviously a villain I mean, given that he's called Kaiser Cucumber right. I guess he's yeah. not the secret Hitler I was about to say is he secretly a fascist I don't think he's that much of a secret. He can't speak for Kaiser Cucumber, but he doesn't really want much other than no peace. And of course, the cheese wants peace because it's Swiss. Right. That was the, that was the whole thing of that one. That, um, was a, that was a good game. It was good fun. We had some, we had some of that. And then Cover we played your check, your, check Your Cover Your Assets. Cover Your Assets. One I think you would like. Very simple. Very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. 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 <laughs> many, Ooh. not as many moving Ooh. pieces. Oh, and it's all about making money. Is it edible as well? <laughs> I mean, it's only paper, so... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Is it a chunk hazard? <laughs> it's edible if you try. Well, you like Tiny Towns when we played that for our 50th. Oh, it's so good. I did, a lot of I did like Tiny Towns. towns. You, I bet you like games. You're just, you're just yeah, scared to try you, them. No, At some yeah. point, we will play Unfathomable, which Connor got me for my birthday, and we are. I'll play that. Yeah. <laughs> Cthulhu on the, on the ocean. Yeah, it's Cthulhu Betrayal of House on the Hill. Should be fun. On a yes, boat. On a on boat. boat. There's no one to run. Everything's better on a boat. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Sold me on the box art. <laughs> the Titanic being this attacked cool. by Cthulhu, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> Bye. That is, the one he wants. <laughs> that is alternative history at its best. I repeat, I'll stick to my. Sorry, alternative. Um, well, <laughs> what do you think happened to the Titanic? Well, that... <laughs> there's theories. Mm. Some people say it was an iceberg. How did the iceberg? Others get say Wait, iceberg it was with tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> others, others say the la- last thing that was heard was release the kraken. <laughs> the survivors swore never to mention it. <laughs> they, they died knowing they, they weren't were. believed. <laughs> they weren't believed. We all thought it was an iceberg. Those are the ones that survive. They just pledged allegiance to oh, yeah. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Yeah. So they knew yeah. for eternal power. Yeah. And, that, and those people that were, were on the Warlocks or on wardrobe doors. Yeah, exactly. That could float. I recently saw Fuck. an actual, like, there was a picture of someone stood by the door. Yes. Used in the film. Definitely enough mm-hmm. room for a yeah. jack on. Oh, well, they yeah. tested it on Mythbusters. We like, I had, like, two it. full grown men, and they were just like, yeah, we could get on this. <laughs> Like, we just sat there, and just like, yeah, this so is fine. much room for him. But they cropped the hell out of that door when the yeah, movie. Yeah. <laughs> the whole sixty-five percent of the back of it was just just floating around. She, but, oh, she got luggage on it. <laughs> <laughs> but also, she was twenty-six, so she was a bit too old. Oh yeah. But you know, it was all the juicy free. That's just all tucked into the back. <laughs> Anyway, we're off to. I feel like we've gone off on a tangent. Really? A, a slight one. <laughs> it does, it's not going to be a good stream until we're talking about stuff that has absolutely nothing to do. Yeah, well, I Unless even... we're now going to build a big ship. I'm interested in what people are going to use. Like this, this machine that can create anything for us, I'm sure we've all planned in intricate detail. <clears> I'm going to use it. You can create anything. That would be kind of us. Hi. <laughs> I've got plans. You don't have plans. I have plans. I have plans. It'll take about like three seconds and then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's also, I'm also sl- re- reluctantly encouraged by the fact that nothing seems to have gone wrong with the stream. Nightbot is in order. Oh, oh, nothing has exploded. Someone do something. And Twitch has crashed. Yeah, it's fine. Not <laughs> all of Twitch is The actual Twitch is just It's crashed. fine. Um, the stream might be a bit laggy. That's all we need just to comfort us. And just be like, <laughs> it's, it's fine, guys. It's fine. Just, I just looked at my little... No drop yeah. frames. Yeah, I looked at my phone Absolutely. screen and everything. Really, like, Why are you no so drop frames? Frame. I just looked down at my phone and was like, you're oh, not it's not frozen. I'm it. waiting for someone to say, audio's not been working the last 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not recording, though, just just to point that out. you know. No, we're good, we're good. This does crash, we've lost the only hard copy. Yeah. I can record, yeah. but I choose not to because no, it's no. easier on... Because there's nothing wrong Why with the screen. When it's so perfect. We're at 30 FPS, no drop frames. Chef's kiss. Got a green yeah. box, that must be good. <laughs> that does seem good. Yeah. That, there's a barb that keeps jumping all the time. But like, it goes into the red, is Yeah, and a bit nervous about okay, the bar jumping. Well, talk the quieter then. <laughs> I was going to say, it's because you're really something close called to the mic. I know, I know. Because the microphone is there. The yeah, microphone. Mic. Really, whoever said I should sit here did not think of our viewers' ears. Wasn't it your It was you! <laughs> <laughs> I just adopted this thought, like, oh, I, that didn't I think you're fine with the wise words, uh, the words of Sheldon Cooper. That's my spot. That's my spot. I think potentially <laughs> I you have the loudest people nearest to the mic and the quietest person furthest away from the mic. Which is it doesn't really matter about Tom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> <more> <laughs> <than> <laughs> <quiet> <laughs> when he doesn't speak. 
Well, oh, no, I mean, the microphone needs to be closest to me because. I do 90% of the Oh, no, that's okay. bad. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we move the mic, I'm suggesting we move the people. I mean, yes, we could. No, 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 but again, oh, not. Can we play musical chairs on, on, on the game every stream? Of, Hold on. Of, of the loud, Luke's got a button. For that. Hold on, I can't get the button. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Leave it alone. Leave no, it no, alone. Leave it alone. People being near the mic. We're not moving. No, no, I have realised that the audio. That's it. The audio is switched off. Oh, God, I've changed. Why is that? We ruined it! So satisfied now. It's okay, guys. No. Uh, all right, Chris. Okay. All right, that's it. Roll initiative. Normality uh, restored. Uh, Dong. Dong. Ah, uh, no, it's um, <laughs> guys. Good There it is. Yeah, there you go. Turn it off. Seventeen. Yeah. I'd like to know what my own oh. personal initiative would be. Well, personal oh, initiative? Yeah. Okay. You're not dexterous, so minus three. <laughs> minus three? Minus three. <laughs> 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 That's a like scathing attack that was. That's that? like, oh, I've got a plus seven to my attack. <laughs> I, I, Luke that gave Laura, personally yeah. Laura, negative three in her dexterity. My dexterity? Oh. Like, Laura I, does yoga. What does your score even yeah, do? Yeah, not for a <laughs> I do... Well, like six or seven. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd say I'm more dexterous than you. Oh, <gasps> mm. oh shots fired. Depends on mm. you do dexterity. I'm yeah. quite dexterous, but I'm also I'm quite dexterous. Oh, your constitution is low. So is your wisdom. Plus, are you, uh, is it dexterous with your whole body? Because I'm quite dexterous really with my hands. I do a lot of sewing. You do a lot of sewing. I'd be great. <laughs> rogue if I was only picking locks. Yes. You probably would be able to make one, dodge them. Make one. Plus five. Plus five. <laughs> <laughs> you could dodge things by falling over. Yeah. You know what? Next time, guys, let's each take. It, it'd be like a secret Santa. Everyone picks a name and just give each other stats. Nothing could be going so Yeah. That's for the stag thing, <laughs> surely. Come on, open my Is that someone you? <laughs> no. No. I would choose the blow set. I might get like a secret, like cocaine surprise. <laughs> well, as long as there's enough to share. It's how the end of the week broadcast live on, on Twitch. Yeah. On the internet, yeah. yeah. There's no way that they could track us down, right? <laughs> yeah, you see all these protesters, they do it all the time. They record it and post it online like, mm. we knifed all these tires. Like, Great. Cool, awesome. That makes the investigation much easier. <laughs> oh, oh, you did do it, did you? Okay then. Just, just wind it back to that point where I can, yep, there's your face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, cool. And there's your Twitch handle. Oh, cool. And your uh, IP address. Lovely. Uh, right, where did we pick off from last time? Laura, take it away. Oh, no, I have brownie in my mouth. Well, steady on. Keep going. Those poor fake creatures. I was thinking... Can I have money to bribe the DM? I decided not to go down that route because that was a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> so you left it to me. My one's a little bit quicker if you want. I only wrote like three things. Because there were three <laughs> things. I think that's also from the session before. That was the session before. <laughs> that is the session before, yes. Session 13. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I did think as you wrote 13, I was like, that's not right. You rescued. <laughs> Missed it. Saved it. Over to stack. Door leads into a spire. Break lock and head inside. Very deep. <laughs> Break another door. Green glow. Scratches from a kerfuffle. <laughs> kerfuffle. Big ball in middle of room. That was how I described it. Astrolabe with slices. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you what? Are you not following? <laughs> Big ball in middle of the room. Ross, I sent you the link. What did you say? Wait, did you not watch the episode? Do you, do you not know what an astrolabe I, is, Ross? Well, I feel like I don't need to watch it because I get these excellent. <laughs> you know, but if you don't know what the hell's going on, you can check out our YouTube channel where they are. So you're saying you don't know what an astrolabe is? No. Good, because we didn't. We didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> it was great because I, because I said it looks like an astrolabe. I got three. Ah, oh, and a. We just looked at each other. <laughs> the two people at that end of the table. Well, and then the I went, one here's the picture. <laughs> here's the picture of what okay. the looks like. Cool. Okay. Astrolabe with slices. That's, that does look slices, yeah. yeah pizza that that like could that. be an astrolabe, who knows. <laughs> Fight! We won! <laughs> I hit it with a hammer! Door with no key, rivets have buttons. Push them all together and door opens, we found a library. 
<laughs> Inside was this blue man boot. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That was the episode title. I did call it. Yeah. Yeah. Rolling Blades and the blue man boot. It hurt as I said it. It did. Library split into crafting mediums. Cassian looks at wooden medium. Learns new things for buildings. Looks for magical item from town. Found list of record. Claw interested in progression of self. Many things he might like. <laughs> chest. Jade mask. Blade. Oh, chest. 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 And then okay. swooping scimitar. The end. Swooping. Swooping and then there was my little notes. But swooping from way. where? Well, it was swooping. possibly one of the blade. The blade. I think it was blade swooping scimitar. I think is what it was called. Yeah. Oh, the blade. Wesley Snipes. And not one which was actually <laughs> swooping. Yeah, no, it, no swooping. the, the pendulum just swings across yes. and just kills. And that yeah. everybody was session thirteen. Yes, very comprehensive. So having so explored, I was there. <laughs> 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 I remember it all clearly. Matt Mercer, watch your back. <laughs> Having explored a bit more of Fossfinger, the party set across to the this and found this repository of knowledge. Uh, having fought past a protector in the form of a metal ape, gathered the metal that made up its cage, uh, and then proceeded through a secret door, you were reconnected with effectively the hive mind of the fabricators. And <coughs> this was evidence that this fabricator had been used to help construct all sorts of wondrous items and split itself off into different parts to build within Fossfinger. Um, you were given permission to explore around the library. There were sheets of bronze that the uh, fabricator thank you, sorry, that the fabricator could communicate with you all with and there were uh, effectively five shells that were based on the various mediums. So there was wood, stone, metal, materials and magic. That's the sort of general magic. Mis- magic is the general miscellany. <laughs> Miscellaneous. Um, so people had time to sort of explore around and look at some stuff. So we now have a point where you are effectively deciding on what project to go to. Also, the ghost ball hide was being tanned. <coughs> that would be that was put into a vat for tanning. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. You s- you mentioned it to me anyway. Yeah, I think I wrote it in um, the bag of holding as well. So you are now. In Fossfinger, you are oh, within this stack. Uh, Winsome is up top, <coughs> along with Desh and Smokey. Smokey, Smokey. Yeah, they stay um, outside. So you guys are free to do whatever research you would like, potential crafting, thoughts, looking around Fossfinger in general. There are the giant bees outside that you could deal with at some point. Mm. There's all sorts available to well, we don't need trade to deal. deal with them. Yeah, please. trade deal. You could, yeah, men they have one like, export. Luke makes it sound yeah. like that they were attacking and we really need to just deal with them, but they were happily just pushing them. They were just being. Beastings. They were just being. That's their one. Yeah, we, we should probably go up and. Someone well, should go up and let the rest of the people know we're actually okay. Oh, and it's yeah. all safe down there. I will. I'll run up and I will let them know. As you sort of trot up Winsome is. Sat on the on the far side of Fossfinger and is just sort of making sketches and stuff. It looks like he's gone up to do a sort of more detailed map of Fossfinger itself and sort of doing the geography and uh, sort of keeping an eye on. Uh, Desh and Smokey are just curled up in the sun, just sort of sleeping next to Aww. each other. Because um, they've got nothing else to do, so they're just there. Um, when some looks up from his... Oh, hi! Cassian. I poked my head out, like, out the door, like this. Like, out that thing. Cassian is... Are they far away? He's on the other side of the bridge. Oh, I thought they'd come over. Okay, I will. Um, I'll go to my side of the bridge. Hmm. I'm going to shout, "Hey guys!" <laughs> there is just a collective hmm? from the three of them. Strange face. We found a big library. It's two bird heads and one dragon head. So it's just. Here you go. Here you go. Winston, just like, hold on. Puts his quill and just flies over the bridge. Uh, sorry, what? We found a huge library. Um, did you see the giant metal ball? Did you even cross this bridge? No. No. There was a giant metal ball with slices that tried to... Um, <laughs> Read your notes. 
Um, I didn't have anything about Winsome, I'm sorry. Um, I know you all really want to know about Winsome. Um, there, was a, Winsome. there was a giant metal ball with slices that tried to kill us, but it's fine, we defeated it. I don't know how I thought I was going to die. We went in, Good. there's this weird blue gloop that the green gloop <coughs> shows us to. There's a ginormous library full of stuff right. that we can learn from. What sort of information? Well, I know, is it, is it all encompassing? I mean, no, I've about half an hour. I've had a quick look. I've already learned something about like some different joints and things I can use to build up buildings. Right. But there's stuff about um, metal, other materials. So it's a construction repository library. Yes. Let's go with that. I like that name. Put, write that one down and don't forget it. Um, <laughs> yes, but it's safe. I would, if, if you like writing things down, I'm sure you would love all these books inside. So it's safe. You guys should totally come in. Uh, and I'll shout at Desh and Smokey and be like, you two can come too. They just look at you. Wasn't the door too small for them? Mm-hmm. I think it's, that. it's big enough for Smokey, but not for Desh. I don't know if you want the fire breathing creature in the library. There's a forge down there, so... Mm. <coughs> it's fine if they just look at They just look at you and then they just go back to sleep. How rude. Come on, Winsome, I'll show you around. Um, Alright, I did find something whilst I was wandering around here, though. There's, um... The piss... It was a... Well, I'll show you. Oh. <laughs> I found this. Oh, shit. I got a handy handout. It appears to be a map of the continent. And I've sort of filled in the... Take one, pass it along. I found in some... multiple copies. You found a map. I, looking through some of the houses, yes. There was just some oh. stuff Uh-oh. around. I found Uh-oh. a map. Oh. I guess Luke wasn't planning on me being no. here. <laughs> no, I was, I was, but I assumed, that people would, I assumed that people would share. No. No, we won't want you to take them home. We're all out for each other. Oh, um, I mean, no, okay, well... Like... So I've, I've marked on, you know, where we started from, which is, uh, you know, that central river just below the forest, um, and then where the Durandesh is uh, keep just above that, and yeah. Wow. So those yeah, I said mine. <laughs> those few days we walked from Seven Home to Durandesh. Well, that was a day. That was only a day. We only took a day travelling that. And then all the railway. That was a long, yeah. long one. And then the... Oh, we haven't... Do you think we could take this and use it? I mean, it's a map, so yes. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no one else using it. It disintegrates when you leave this area. The, the only thing <laughs> is... This map was self-destruct. Yeah! Exactly. The thing is, is there was... Oh, well, the, the one that I saw had the inked lines of the, the sort of contents of the general area, but it didn't have markings on them. The, Location. So just done these few I've put in what we have, where we've been. Where's Newfound Town? Where's Newfound Town is uh, is <laughs> the northernmost point. That bit. Yes. That bit. Near the wall. Yes. That um, dot. Yes. What about? And then that is the wall. That would make sense. The place with the moon theater and yeah, because the little blue dot is the wall. Be... That is a couple of days south. Uh, yes, there is a small small dot. Um, Oh, is that the Newfound Town? Yes, there it is. It's just the below just below the green circle. Oh, no, Newfound Town's that yes. dot. That Newfound Town's the... there. That one's the... Um... What was this one? That was Yonder's Vineyard. Yeah. Oh, someone else will find this down. I don't need to. That's and then, my fault. <laughs> and then you are... Uh, Fossfinger is in that uh, little islet. This. At the top of the black section of this. the canyon. Yes. Fossfinger. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So that, the bigger island is where the city is, and I'm guessing one of the little ones are behind it is where we are? Yes. Hey, Danny. Danny from Sovereignty saying hello. Hi, Danny. Hello. Hey, Danny, welcome along. What's happened? Horsey, Tori. I thought my wife had turned up for a second. Yeah. I thought my wife had created a Twitch account, found ours, and then joined it. Oh, yeah, she got me sports of your hobbies. Yeah, I know. Well, if we, if we... We've travelled for many days Time. and many moons, Time. and we're about 50 yards to the left of where we started. 
It's fine. I, I reckon. I reckon by distances we're maybe three or four days walk away, sort of due west of where we started. Due depending east. Depending on the. Depending on the terrain. terrain. Yes. I mean, this is. This is great. Like we should show the others. Like, what else? What else is? What else is on here? Is that? Are these actually on here? They are on there. Yes. So this is where we were aiming for the mine and the canyon. The mine and the canyon. Yeah. So the canyon's literally. It's it's over there. He points over, and it was. Oh yeah, I see it now. I have shit perception. <laughs> <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Oh. Sort of. Points oh, around, there is. You can see where there is effectively a crack in the land, sort of like a wedge shape mm-hmm. that is as a very slow waterfall just sort of trickling out of it mm-hmm. beyond the stack. Mm. That seems to be at least an exit point for the canyon, the river that had formed the canyon. Hello, Tom. You are you about to ask a question? No, I was just thinking about our party makeup and the, the one stat that might be lacking from it. Strength. Intelligence? I was just thinking wisdom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Intelligence we have. Oh yeah, we have intelligence, it's true. We have no wisdom. We've got charisma in buckets. I have no I've got a little bit of wisdom. Yeah, you know, for all of those people that we interact with in the yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're all great talkers. Hey, you convinced Smokey to come along with you. It's true. We did. We did. Right, what friends sees. have you made? <coughs> Owls. <What's that laughs> My animal friends. Yeah. Um, well, this is... This is a great find. This will make our journey a lot better. And yes. We're not going to fall off the edge of a country. But I, I do believe the world is round, so we're not going to have that issue anyway. Um, but What? <laughs> if you um, hold a, like an icon over the top of it, is it enable fast travel? Or? <laughs> no, you have to wait for the, the little you have arrow. You have to. You have to uh, that, that's a much later one down the right. line. You have you've to unlock a, that. Yeah. So once you've collected all the map faces. Yes. Yeah. 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 Once you've hit uh, the, the experience the problem, level, the, the, you've done the two side quests. Imagine on your HUD, it's just all fog of war. Right. Just yeah. everything. You just find a really tall building somewhere. This is perfect. Yeah. 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 And there'll be a very convenient barrel of hay at the bottom. Yes. The new Netflix movie coming soon. <laughs> and four new games apparently. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. More, fo- more following missions. <laughs> so the, the, the new game does, of course. I'm going to, just going to say that. these you islands over here were like someone's got to think that the the islands of the west. That's yeah. what you suspect is the western archipelago. I'm not built for this now. Well, I think we should absolutely oh, show she everyone else. But then, the oh no, wait, nowhere inside would have. Maybe somewhere inside would have an old map, even though it's about making things. I'm going to go in and find one. We might have some information about what's available at the mine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, go. I, I go. Winston heads down. I'll just shout as I'm running. But to... oh, so none of the <coughs> questions we've move. just asked, apart from Cassie, have actually happened? Yes. No. <laughs> We're not there. We'll have to ask them again once you get there. Yeah. So. We'll just assume that you ask the, you ask those questions and the information is relayed as you sort of as Winston comes down and you are introduced to the map. The map. Oh, wow. Can you That's a really good point. Can you find the map here? It's good to say that we're quite close to seven home, because the fabricators wanted people to come here, so that makes it easy. This central shape, is this a, do we think this is a, a lake? Well, Maybe no, based, based on <clears throat> the readings I had bef- from before we left, I suspect that's probably the central mountain. Mountain oh. singular. Yes. That's a big mountain. It may be a part of a range, I don't know, but it was, it was referred to as such. Um, it may be ringed <coughs> by a lake by you know natural moat based on all those rivers that come from it but mm. uh... I see mm. but, uh, yes that's what we that's what we've got to work with so well, I think we should I definitely want to make this place one of our bases because it's got all this stuff we can learn from it ways to make things and yeah if we can get some people over from seven home at some point I Do we want good. other people knowing this sort of knowledge? It'll yeah. help us rebuild. Yeah, well, else? I mean, we kind of need to see what else is here, but at the moment, all I found is how to build better wooden stuff. But then I did only look at the wooden 
Mm. But don't you think that this sort of place makes us feel far more superior to <clears> other people? Do you want to say it like, like, keep it like that? It wouldn't be a bad thing, though, would it? Well, I mean, you already have that air about you, so I don't really know what will change. I'm glad I'm giving it across. Yeah. Um, it's hard to be like, superior when you can't tell people what you're being superior about. And if we tell them about it, they'll learn. Well, if we build, and we're the only people that build it, it makes us far more valuable in no society. Going, than no one's going to build. believe we built this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm very charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> I built this nuclear bomb. <laughs> New D&D, &D, natural mm. punishment mm. that I can. Mm. You're building things. Why are you saying you could make a boat? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking for maybe getting back across from here might be easier than climbing across the rope again. You would have I to go down the stack, though, to go over the water and then climb back yeah. up the mountain. I'll, I'll ask a couple of fabricators all the good loop. Um, when, when there's a way down to the sea. enough material to build a bridge. You're asking the fabricator that question? Yeah. Is, uh, there, is there a way to get to the sea? The, yes, uh, is the response. Yes, there is a passage that leads down. There we go, we've got a way to the sea. We can make a boat. Yeah. It's no problem. It's a medium sized boat, though. As, he, as you're sort of having this little discussion, a small cube of the fabricator splits off and just starts to manoeuvre its way towards um, a side section uh, near the back of the forge and just sort of slimes its way up the wall and just sort of sits on a brick. I go over and inspect the brick. Make an investigation check. Inspect. Ooh, Ooh, wow. Ooh. Investigation. 18. 18. Oh. It's... <laughs> old and obviously hasn't been touched in a while but um, this brick is not consistent with the rest of the wall Grit can tell you exactly how old <laughs> <laughs> do it it's funny because I was the thought of the <laughs> I, I will push the brick you push the brick and oh it was a pull <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did you not see the sign? That's my hand going into the bit of the fabricator. The fabricator didn't move out of the way quickly no, enough. And you. the slime falls to his death. <laughs> you then you hear a as a set of doors starts to slide open, revealing a 20 foot square lift. <gasps> that's cool. Ooh, wow, that's cool. I was really hoping for giant boulder. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> no incline here, so it just sticks Don't there. Magic's a thing. <laughs> Heat seeking boulder. <laughs> You just hear it sort of scraping on the uh, metal again. You see, we have maintained it, so it should work down to the, the dock. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to pop down and have a look. Anyone want to come? Absolutely not. Yeah, if Ooh. I could just see how the uh, lift works, that'd be good. I mean, if it's anything like the train we went on, you guys might be gone for hours. We know the sea's not that far down. Maybe it goes deeper than the sea. I will point out, you are currently under the sea. I'm going to see. Oh. Maybe it's in like a glass elevator that goes up. <laughs> so what, we come, we come okay. down the stairs. You came down, you came down the stairs in the stack, and it took you below the sea. Uh, so the lift is going up. up. Might up. take you up. Yeah, Does it look like it could go down? Is it going to raise you? Up? No. Is there? There's not. A, is there a gap you can see? Like you can. Yeah, you can go and have a look. It's literally just a platform that is supported by some cables. Oh, okay. Uh, sort of like the old style mining cage. Yeah. Sort of style. Um, Ooh, so you, okay. Yeah. yeah. Feel very safe in there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to take your canary. Yeah. Um, but you can look up and you can just see Which that it does go up a certain distance and there is a little bit of light, sort of okay. uh, maybe 40 feet up. Okay. Um, pop, pop on. I'll jump on. Okay. Two of you get in. Up, please. Is there a lever or something to pull? There was a lever, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. You don't know, it could be powered by gloop. I think it's this. Pull oh, the lever. <laughs> just starts to slowly wind its way back up. It seems like there's just a mechanism up top. There's a relative to pump. It up. <laughs> when, when we hear the, the, pump, the, pump, the screams pump. from them, we leave, right? Yes. Cool. Just, yeah, just as it goes down, it reveals a rope. And so can we see... Sword. Is there a spot that actually we can see the sea? We can see the sea now? No. Where, no. How do you get to the sea? Take this is, The lift is going up. up. So as we, Dark. as you, as the two of you are yes. going up on the lift and you get up, there is this room that you can see is now somewhat lit by natural light. Okay. Um, you are effectively now in a dry dock. Okay. I where there are. Down to come back up. 
there are a couple of carts that are a little bit rusty and worn that haven't been looked after, but they are there. Um, as well as some planks and ramps that are used to load into what appears to be a barge that is stored in the dry dock. It is damaged. I'm not writing any of this down, guys. God. Oh, God. Oh. Are you even there? You're not God. there. No. You can't so write you it down, can, it can you? Yeah. It's, it's uh, not Cassian giving us a review. I thought you said a bit of that barge snap. It's, 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 it's it is damaged. Bit. Uh, and it has got all sorts of dents and dings on it that appears it's been used for carrying things like oil. It's in the ocean, you can never hear it. <laughs> so bubbly. <laughs> so frothy. It's like a star. Uh, but it is... I I offered that to you now, it just looks better than... I was trying to give you a pick you a stupid glass and it actually worked out. No, that's why I picked the wine glass. Probably got a massive gin glass. But it is there, it just needs some repairs. But it looks like it would just been stopped in the dry dock. And from here, you can see where the tide marks come in yeah. to just below where you're currently standing. Just below where we're currently standing. Okay. Is, the up, is the sort of upper limit yeah. to the tide, but he's deep enough <coughs> with a sort of a, a cut for a bar, the barge to, to be slide like out. And then, yeah, yes. To go out. But it has been brought up into the dry dock okay. for repairs. Oh, what's the barge made of? Uh, barge is a combination of wood and metal. Okay. Mostly the hull is mostly metallic. Can I? I'd like to see how it's powered. Mm. Uh, make an investigation check. Sure thing. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Nice. Uh, 24. Nice. 24. There does not appear to be an engine or anything like that. It engine. looks like. Yeah. I rolled really high to go, there's no engine. <laughs> <laughs> um, you <awesome>. are the engine. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Up there, right? uh, there doesn't appear to be any sort of like en mechanical turnings yes. or anything like that. It does seem that this one was particularly pulled by a uh, horse or by other, some sort of other pack Water animal. Horse. Seal. <laughs> <laughs> pulled one canal. It's, more than oh, okay. it's, not, it's not, not a sea, a sea. vessel, right. it is a barge. But does it look like this dock leads out into the canal? Yes, it leads into that uh, sort of the surrounding right. stack around this, this watery area around. Uh, there. Yes. Um, and not the water fairy like the north in the north here. Like yes. Yeah. What's this labelled as Mr. Oh, so it would be used. Yeah. So it would go into the water and then go up that. Up. Yes. That. Up the steps into yeah. the canal. <laughs> up lock steps into the canal. Um, okay. But it looks like it was. It was probably pulled by. There weren't really beasts of burden in the previous era. It was mostly just humanoids. Um, so it's probably pulled along by humanoids, not necessarily slaves, but just manual labourers. Okay. Um, Fair wage for them. Okay. Potentially, yeah. Uh, but it does also appear that looking through, as part of your investigation, you didn't come across anything. Everything's pretty much in working order. Mm -hmm. It's just that there is some damage to the hull that needs okay. to be repaired. Okay. It's really interesting that they haven't maintained this area. Mm. The fabricators. Uh, one of the fabricators that is there sort of starts to write on your breastplate oh. as they have been before. The little cubes that came say up this with out you. loud. As you say this out loud. <laughs> just look down and just flood off. We, just... would have, we would have maintained, but we did not have the resources, the materials. Oh. Okay. So it looks like so a chunk was taken out of it somehow. Funk. Um, and then it was they, just never. They needed that bit for some effort. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Part of the war effort, probably. <laughs> okay. so with the hull being metallic, can mm. I get an idea of. Is it something I could maybe fix or make a patch for, or something dry? Okay. It Do we have the materials? I've got. I've still got a fair bit of iron. We didn't use it all on nails building new found town. Found town. You've been carrying all this iron with you. Yeah. It's in the bag of holding, presumably. No, it's in my bag. No, oh, okay. You've <laughs> been pumping iron the entire yeah, time. Man. Oh is. no, man. I'm sorry. Just, no. There's a pill for that. What have you done? What have you done, Laura? Flaccid map. <laughs> I really wanted a fat map. So one, one of the little fabricator cube that's there just sort of, just sort of slides it up next to you. Um, yeah, I can, I can share some mine if you if that'd be useful for working this ship. I'd like to hang on to a bit though. I want to make myself a shield because that worthy ball of death showed my armor's maybe not as good as it could be or needs a bit of help. Oh, and I wanted to make Cassian a new hand axe, as he says that's his new favourite weapon. Yeah, he certainly have some. Okay, it <coughs> goes over some of the some of the uh, ore, and it sort of sits there for a moment. You just watch as these 
tiny little nanobots just spark inside and you watch as they start to conform uh, this patch and they make it slightly the exact same shape as the hole uh, but just slightly bigger so that it could be welded and attached to the outside and sealed oh excellent that's really good i need to get some kit from the forge and then yeah I can weld this on and patch it up that's great although <coughs> do we need a barge what well, we do now well now there's one available obviously we need it be good for going up to newfound town tell you what let's go back down and talk to the others about it sure they're all gonna want the barge just so you know Spoiler alert. <laughs> okay, two of you get back on the lift and push the lever away. Elevator down. It's voice activated. <laughs> you just slide back down and eventually come back into the boat. Oh, well, the rest of you are. Now, what have you been doing whilst they've been clattering around upstairs? If anything. Taking bets on whether we're. So, there. we're absolutely <laughs> going to try and ride those bees, yeah? <laughs> yes. So we go to the forge and we create enough saddles yep. for large bees. Yep, I like this plan. Oh, hey guys, did you find I, anything? I've been doing something. Oh yes, what were you doing? I was going to try and find maybe recipes or sort of um, something to try and find any like medicinal plants. Yes. Maybe even, maybe even uh, ways of making potions. Make an investigation check. Oh dear. Did Pal come with us, or is he still, he's still in the library? I guide myself. Yes. He's still in the library. Can I inspire? If you'd like. Just for search and knowledge. D6, I believe. Yeah, there's a D6 of this stuff, yes. Yo. Yeah. I should point out, the giant bees, although they're big bees, they are not... They are small creatures. Oh, oh, not this again. It was for comedic effect. <laughs> okay. I, no, but I was imagining elephant-sized bees. Yeah! So. Uh -huh. I did say at the time yeah. they were... <laughs> this big? Yeah, they're about the size of a cat. Okay. Or, the hell or a rugby ball. <laughs> so, so we need to harness a lot of them to pull the barge. Plus you need like a... Um, yeah. One plus two plus two plus one. Chariot style yeah. pack of bees. <laughs> Just like pack of bees. I've got a two or three fours. So, you know. Okay, so 19. 19. Off. Stinger. And, <laughs> and Buzzy. 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 Those ones do not die. They can have awful stings. Apparently. <laughs> 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 That's terrifying. <Yeah. laughs> Although it does mean that you have to have Flight of the Bumblebees playing every time you take Bumblebee. off with yeah. them. <laughs> anyway. Brownie. The... You do find uh, plenty of medicinal recipes and alchemy and all sorts of potion making instructions, as well as uh, various herbological uh, designs and sketches that show you about where or the type of plants that you can find for crafting things like healing potions, potions that have transmutive abilities, potions that have uh, abjuration, abjuration abilities. Things such as that. So there's all <coughs> sorts of those Forever. potions, and particular, it's there are sections in your research that are devoted to the use of plants as conduits for magic for particular enchantments. I will be wishing I had um, enough like paper to make notes <coughs> and all this stuff. <laughs> yes, but uh, I, I, <coughs> he's got a prayer book. That's about it. This is a library. There are spare pa and a <coughs> research library. There are pages around. Um, you're in a lift. <laughs> oh no! Sorry, I was covering the um, kind of pouring. What? I never did what? that. <laughs> they might not have heard it, but they definitely <laughs> saw it. I thought you were going. Oh, no. I, I have like that. There <laughs> is you. Because it is a, a a research library, there is there are sheets of paper that are around that you could Find a use for noting. Yeah. yeah, jotter pads. Also, I was literally I will just make notes destroy on a book to make a book. Particularly on important like processes and uh, just plants to keep mm -hmm. keep my eyes open for. That keep that keeps you entertained. I mean, you can just take the book. Like, there's no one here stopping you. What? <laughs> That's Only if he logs it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be terrible. No, yeah, I, I will make notes okay. and put the books back. 
Sure, that's fine. Don't Whilst other. you're doing that and you're sort of frantically sort of scratching out the research, you hear the lift come down and the other two <laughs> emerge. Uh, we found the, the dark. It just got up to the sea and you can, we can get out that way. Um, and there's a barge up there that looks like it's good for going along the canals. Oh, what's the chances of finding a fully functioning barge it's, right down there? It's not quite yeah. fully functioning. It needs a bit of work. But I, it's got a metal hull so I can patch it up. A metal hull? Yeah. Blimey. Also, one of us or some of us will need to pull it along. So, you know. Ah. I don't want it. Just bribing him, oh. don't worry, guys. Well, yeah. bribing me, <laughs> bribing me <laughs> the things that I bought. Yes, your <laughs> king. Yes, there's none of it left. I didn't Dish know that. Dish. God damn it! <laughs> so this is great because, in all honesty, I was thinking, well, how this is great. We want to bring people here. Maybe we could like, because there was a, a mini dock in Newfound Town. There was. wasn't there and I thought well maybe people could come via the sea but we don't really know how dangerous the sea is but we know kind of know how dangerous the canal is so Very. this yeah. is like yeah but sea <laughs> or canal and we kind of know what's along the canal so this would be a great way mm. to like for to take things from here up to Newfound Town but to also bring people here if we can like fix this budge I think this will solve yeah. Many problems. Well, one thing I did think of was uh, it's big, big enough for moving materials. So if we went up, took it up to Newfound Town and got some of the building materials from there, we could bring them back to here. Maybe it'd be enough for the fabricators to fix the bridge and things. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, so I've been thinking. And that's what you do. You are the thinker. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of Is that it you were part really of. Wise to tell people about this place. Now I understand we are here to explore and to find things and share knowledge. But we know some unsavory people who would probably abuse this. Do you? I yes. mean, yeah, we kind of do. Oh, so he says it, and it's intelligent. When I mm. say it, I'm held up for some sort of well, I think okay, you were insinuating that you were going to be one of those unsavory people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to be better than everybody else. Yes. I, mean, I already am, but this also gives me much more leverage. But yes, well, other unsavory people so who we don't know. We are aware of you and your intentions, so slightly so less risk. My intentions. You told us about so it. selfish if we are. <laughs> you, you well, you don't want your dad to find you. Imagine if your dad found out by here. Exactly. exactly. We should keep it to ourselves. Yeah, exactly. You have a dad? Yes, we all have a dad. Do we? Uh, oh my God. Maybe. Am I the odd one out here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no. I do. You know, some people were made totally by the gods. Yeah, I what probably you want to do, but I have no idea who it is. I mean, I have a dad. I also have a mum. Then there are some people that don't have a dad. But everyone but... has a mum and everyone has a dad. Well... Not really. I don't know if any of you guys were made by the gods, but I was made the new fashioned way. Winston puts his hand and says, I, I have two dads. So. There you go. Very progressive. Well, seriously, was anyone here made by the gods? No. no my, my dad was. But... Yeah, same. Oh, that's okay then. Well, but yeah, um, I haven't heard anything about your family. Is your dad. Chill, he's a nice guy. Where is he? Chill, by the sense that um, the, the blood that runs through his veins is very, very cold. Um, I mean, I, I get cold hands too. Yeah, might have been cold for a long time. Oh, damn it, I was Longer than you would know. Have you tried gloves? I do, I wear gloves all the time. <laughs> Sometimes in the winter I get, like, arthritis in my bones. Doesn't that make it difficult to play all your instruments? It does. It does. Have you Thankfully, tried my, fire? Uh, my music is fire, so... Have you tried fire gloves? Yes. I tell you what, well you try and... You don't need much... Yeah. Electric yeah. trying. Yes. 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 <laughs> Drums, you just have to, like, hit it. It's like, like drums, maybe we can worse. find you. you it, the, the reverberate through the, the hand is. Maybe we can find you an instrument that we can build here that will just help your hands. I know what, I haven't played the piano in a very long time. Can you play the piano? What? I can play. Wow, wow let's find a way to. What is a piano? Right. So <laughs> just had to hold your oh, no. <laughs> 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 
quite extreme option. We could cut your hands off and replace them with mechanical hands. I would always be up for that. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I was thinking, electric triangle is just one of those buzzer toys, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Agitation. <laughs> Complete Operation. Start his heart. Yeah. Yeah. Operation that the, the, the player of the electric triangle could only fail. Yeah. yeah. you got to hit it. <laughs> when the owner's nose glows red. Uh, then you got a problem. Yeah, as, you, as we're talking of building things, I was going to make myself a shield. I think I could make you a new hand dice because you said that was your new favourite and then you could have one for each hand. Yeah, this guy. I mean, I kind of just have him around because he's like my favourite like actual... How big is a hand axe? But hand axe size? Yes. No, shut up, shut up. Big like, fire it, axe. it is, it's the... Yeah, fire okay. Axe. Yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't know if it was like one of those ones that you still need Hand axe, no, it's a hatchet. Yeah. It's a hatchet. Yeah, it's yeah like, that's what I mean. Well, it's, it's a fire axe cut in half. It's really yeah. just like... Hatchet. It was my favourite tool. It was like my first like one. My dad it. gave me it. I have used it's it to build a it. lot of things. And who knew it would just defeat <laughs> a big spinning ball of death? Like, oh, oh, sentimental reasons, but an actual sturdy one would be great. Your well, well, I can make one of those. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm his roommate. <laughs> You're his fiance. <laughs> I'm just the Who is also... Up. No, I'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> is also here. Excuse me, I'm talking uh, about my hand axe. She, she, she knows where you sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's but, got ideas. Does, get, get does anyone else want anything making? <laughs> I mean, um, I have my own little design that I'm going to try and whip up, but other than that... I'm working on a... Saddle and harness idea for dash, but so shoulder mounted laser cannon. Mm, yes, <laughs> roll, roll an intelligence check. already got that, Great. just minus the lasers, just in case I do. You know, he's got to let me have it. I get it. How much? Sorry, what, what, what was I rolling? What? Is that intelligence? Intelligence mm. uh, mm. 11. Mm. Well, oh, no, 10. 10. You know how to do the shoulder mounted bit. But what's we'll a work. laser cannon? <laughs> we'll work on the rest. <laughs> and you can, you Maybe can one of these books will You might be able to fashion a cannon. It's... The laser's going to be the <laughs> hard part. It's just shoulder mounted regular cannon. <laughs> oh <my>. You are <laughs> just charismatic. Fire one off. You can probably make someone believe that they are shoulder yeah. cannon, laser, laser cannon. You, you fire one off, you just dislocate your shoulder with the kickback. Oh. We just call right. anything a shoulder mounted laser <laughs> <laughs> That's just a squirrel. <laughs> no, no. It's an attack squirrel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would like to uh, an RPG. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be our next one. <laughs> next animal friend. Claim your Twitch yeah. points now Sorry. for a. I would like to spend an obscene amount Don't of money it. on a book. Said <laughs> you have to do that. Oh no! Exactly. <laughs> You're going to be the one making it as the character, so... Yeah, don't, you want, you yeah, don't do even it. spend the Twitch points. Just just go. For the, go for the... We've got to find a squirrel first. That's squirrel. the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to invent been squirrels and then you... around, <laughs> there's been a serious lack of squirrels. What happens? You have some cross squirrels. squirrels. You've yeah. seen squirrels. At in various the points in, in the, the forest. 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 Uh, Did they double as salt as pepper grinders? <laughs> they did not, no. I missed the trick. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. So it literally, it's like a you sale. It's so cheap to mind, yeah. generate stuff. Are there any books in here on like politics or anything? Oh, uh, no, <laughs> how to not. make a society? <laughs> How's um, currency work? Fine. Uh, are there any books on famous people throughout the ages? <laughs> uh, make an investigation check. Can I look for a map? Yeet. Natural twenty. This is great. This is like the worst use of natural twenty. It is right. You looking for a map? You said. Mm-hmm. Okay. I need to roll. Investigation check. I'll deal with this first. Yep. You do find that there is a rather out of place book mm-hmm. on the city's heraldry ah, and okay. history. It talks about how this place seceded from the kingdom that was part of the Eastern Gorge. Um. I don't think that was a kingdom. I don't remind myself of what domain I called that as. Uh, but of the, you know, the society that was of the Eastern Gorge, it seceded away from that to become its own independent state um, that was ruled over by a series, a council of lords and ladies, effectively. So it did have a level of heraldry all on its own. It had these lands surrounding the stack as its own. Fantastic. Um, there's a whole list of various individuals that are okay, um, there. I need to take that book and a hundred gold pieces 
uh, and basically I want to create my book using mm. this one as scrap parts. Yeah. Yeah, to use as the paper and the leather gotcha. and the actual book thing. And then the gold is going to be a lot of the filigree and to make it look very royal on the outside. I just needed Aww. a very boring book Luke to burn. just spent all that time describing a book for you. Yeah, at least we got something out of it. it. No, no I, knew, I knew what he was doing. Yeah, so. he knew where I was going. I told him. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I've got some channel points redemptions that I need to uh, ignore. Um, <laughs> Squirrel, <laughs> we're the show in front of ladies, Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. The pay is a swoop blaming you. Yeah, okay, fair. Uh, yeah, and also a, um, a quill and ink bottle made out of the astrolabe material that I, I, I stole. Uh, were you able to steal some? Or did you pocket some whilst I you were pocketed, helping? Yeah, well, okay. not, not as much as what. So you go and speak with the fabricator and there's a chunk of, they sort of come to the side and then they help you. They start taking apart the the book and the, the spine of it and they take the, the sort of leather spine off this one and they start rebinding it with the gold format that you wanted to make this book uh, indifferent. They also are able to, with the mithalade metal, to sort of split it apart, create the nib and use some of the remaining fragments of the Got the silver that make up part of the gold coins because they are mm-hmm. not pure gold. gold yeah. um, they split it out and they're able to make sort of like a spiky quill oh, lovely. Um, aspect from the silver, just making the feather look like it's silver. Do a bit of embellishments around the ink bottle and then they're able to extract the ink that has been written on the pages and can put that it's into just the bottle. so sustainable, isn't it? Ooh. So you now have a gold book with blank pages. That does not at all look like that book that you sent me. <laughs> Keep it original. Yeah, no, I was like, I was like, oh, it's kind of like this, but definitely not the uh, the book, book of the dead. dead. <laughs> Egyptian mythology. Uh, uh, like, like this, but in gold. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, like the book of life. <laughs> do, do you have to say "Clad Super Art and Nikto" before we? Absolutely. No, if it's the book of life, surely it should be read. I've got 11 on the investigation. 11 on the investigation check to find a map. Uh, You do manage to find um, a smaller map. It is not a map of the entire continent. It's just a map of the surrounding area. Yes. um, Including details of different locations of different mines that are within Mm. the gorge. Some of them have been crossed off and shown that they have probably been closed down. But the main one correlates to uh, the yellow indication on the map. Where the that main is still... mine is there, or was there previously. There may be other locations where you could mine from, but you'd have to start this fresh. That's fine. Okay. Yes, I'd like to look into the mithalabe material and see if I can mark out if it has any special properties. Okay. Um, make an investigation check for the material, for just the research of the metal. Eight. It's definitely metal. It's definitely metal. You. I'll send you a message. Okay, yeah. You, I was leading into whisper, then realised I was getting really close right to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't going to work. Um, from. You spend a little bit of time looking around trying to look for different metal alloys and different things that are used uh, for the construction of these things. You do find it eventually. It just takes you a little while to do so. Um, there are a few things that are. A few alloys that are mentioned as part of the middle age. The primary one was known as Arcanium. Now, Arcanium is an alloy which is especially good for being utilised in the magical integration. Um, it basically halved the time for magical enchantment. So if any enchantments were being put onto a metal, mm-hmm. an item made of that uh, material, it would be reduced. That was my friend going buzz, sorry. Um, should be. What you also find is that the myth you find a little bit about the Mithalave itself and the construction of it. The Mithalave had a enchantment to protect it against other magical weapons, but it had a fault in that enchantment. It was good at protecting against magical items, as you found with um, Cassian's axe being enchanted, but it was brittle against non-magical weapons. There was something in the enchantment that made the metal particularly weak, which you notice particularly when you know, the hand axe and the short sword just cut through it like butter. Um, it looks like that was a fault in that particular enchantment, not as a, a conduit of the metal itself. And you kind of deduce from sort of a bit of studying and a little bit of consultation with Grit um, that this one, the magic that was within the metal has now faded since it was destroyed. You also find um, there's plenty of metal 
here. You've got, you know, from all of it condensed together and sort of lumped back into a pile, there's probably enough to make, in D and D terms, about two thousand golds worth of stuff. I thought I said two thousand swords. Yeah. So things like plate armor, which is I think seven fifty, as an example, you have enough metal to make two of those, and then something else, some other stuff. Um, it does say that there are ore deposits of this particular item within the mines of the Eastern Gorge, as well as ore for iron and misium. The magical alloy that is in Ravnica, um, that was, but is described in this instance as a magical alloy that is flame-proof and durable. Ooh. But it is quite rare. Yeah. Mines that I've found before have had it extracted in its entirety. Thank God I made a pen out of it, eh? <laughs> you made a pen out of just some silver from some <laughs> coins of a bygone age that doesn't exist anymore. I still have a bit of gold, right? And a lucky coin. One lucky coin. One lucky coin. One lucky copper coin. Yeah, I was, I was quite excited to send her out the, the museum. Hmm. Okay, so this special is just going to be good for getting enchantments in. If anyone's good at enchanting stuff, not something I've really thought much about. I could maybe see if I can get the gods to help. I don't know. But yeah, in the meeting, there's also a place in the gorge mine where the, you can get iron from, and this thing called Mysium, but it's, apparently it's flame proof and tough. So that'd be quite good to find. Good for you if you're in a forge and you fall in. <laughs> that's the was, that's was that a threat. That's, or... <laughs> no, that's just the hottest thing I could picture. But yes, it's really good. I, I mean, not learn, not falling in the forge is like less than one in being a smith. I wouldn't know. I do it with wood. Which does burn. Yeah. So it does I, burn. I, I, yeah, so I stay fear. away yes. from the fire. I understand. I, think it's the, yeah. I could probably help, maybe, with the enchant, enchanting element of that. Maybe. Do we have any idea what kind of enchantments might be possible? Um, I'd be looking at protection. You've looked at some abjuration. Um, I would say Grit would be able to uh, offer some thoughts on that one because you have done some abju you've done some protection, you've done some enchantments uh, on various items yourself. So you would probably be uh, pretty well positioned to help with that sort of thing. That's what I see. I have done. What did you want to do? Yeah. Yes. Just making a note. Oh, oh, I'm definitely making a shield as to whether I can make a special one. Ah, okay. Do you have something more specific in mind? Block a particular type of damage better, or...? Well, blocking it, all damage better would be good, but if we can't get it to block all damage, being good against one... better against one thing is better than just being good against... You know, if it's mm. good against everything and good, then better in one area, that's still a good thing. Do you almost want the shield to be plus one better than a normal shield? I mean, that'd be good, mm. you know. It's <laughs> better all round. Yeah. You know. 25%, about 50% <laughs> better yeah, than yeah. it usually is. You know, right, the, okay. the normal shield, and then this would be like the next level. Yeah, I got you, yeah. Okay, I mean, I can... I've definitely done that, but maybe on the slightly shorter term. So we could try it on this. Cool. That's good. Does anyone mind if we spend a bit of time on this? Because it's going to take a, a while to make. Go right ahead. Go for it. I think probably just doing this at the same time. Oh. Everyone else yeah. is thinking. Oh, and do you want me to fix the barge as well? What do we think is the idea? The barge getting... would be handy. Yes, I'm all for the barge. Even if we don't use it right away, I think it would be good to have. But you guys, you, you sort your shield out. That seems like a probably more important okay. thing. And yeah, I'll leave you up for another axe while I'm at it. That'd be Just amazing. Just gonna whip one up. Let's see this one. Yeah, hand, yep. hand, axes yep. are, hand axes are fairly easy. Hand axes are fairly easy. Yay. Okay, so... Mm. Don't have a quick look at it. 
Montage. Yeah. Oh, Gotta see a montage. Montage. So <laughs> the thing is, like, I am literally making this in a cave from a pod of scraps. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tony Stark. Yes. Down now. So, um, what are you making <laughs> first? The shield. Okay, shield first. Shield. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Okay. How are you constructing the shield? What? Uh, what? Yeah, <laughs> St- what style are you putting into? Are you making it as a metallic rim, or are you putting it as a you know like a buckler shield? But you got the wood, and then you got a metallic center, door shield, and then a thing around or a tower shield. Or are you making it fully out of metal? How are you constructing it? Shell. Go in. <laughs> Three hundred and sixty degrees of protection. <laughs> Be, like two be, millimeters thick. It's going to be made mostly out of metal because we don't have that much wood, so it's going to be so like a buckler style. Buckler style. Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. Not hemisphere. Okay, uh, uh, so which one of you is going to be doing the main forging? So the um, oh, that'll be me. Fabricator. The main forging. Okay, yeah, probably. So the fabricator will they will sort of like forge and they'll get things done. They'll break down the the metal and put it into a effectively an ingot form for you to construct. So, uh, make. A smithing. Hello. Obviously, I will assist. Yes, I was, I was assuming. Make a smithing check. So this will be uh, your. I'll say this will be your strength modifier with your proficient tools. Cool. And mm. advantage because of the assistance. Yes. Yes. I'm double checking something here. Advantage. Oh. Well, that was advantage. Yeah. Really useful. No, we do to add those numbers together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good number. It's still a 15 with my strength and oh, so. 15, okay. Uh, this is where I'm double checking what the rarity of advanced shields are. Sorry to rat. I think. Um, plus, plus one shield uncommon. is uncommon, yes. Okay. I did check that was. Oh, is that... oh yeah, you said. I did limit it to have. uncommon, yes. I have no idea. So, uh, you spend. This would be probably... Uh, it's going to take about a day and a half. Okay. Um, the first the first half day is the construction of the actual shield itself. Uh, the next day is spent enchanting it. So it is time spent between the two of you using your spell slots. Uh, I believe, you, Great, you have abjuration spells as some of your magic. Let's say yes. I know you are, <laughs> I know you are Mark Warding. Yes. Yes. I'm pretty certain because you will need to have abjuration spells in order to be able to enchant it in this way. I do literally the very first spell I have is alarm, which is an abjuration spell. Okay. Uh, in fact, all of my spells are no, they're not. A lot of them are. Though. <laughs> a lot of your well, spells you are. Oh, I literally have mage axe, armor, for so. example. Yes. I don't even know why. And sanctuary. I don't I've, even know why I questioned this. I've got sh- yeah, I've got shield of faith and sanctuary. yes. <laughs> so between the two of you, you're able to sort of uh, enchant into this metal. Um, yeah, normally, I mean, it will use up about 200 golds worth of the metal cool. to do so. Mm, yeah. And with the assistance from the two of you working together, mm. you're able to sort of cut down the enchantment to about a day. But it does leave you both, that's you tapped out for the day and a half that you're doing this. Yeah. So whilst you two are doing that, is there anything else anyone else would like to be getting on with? Yes. I would like to, in my new book yes uh be studying and copying into the book um the ways that sylvans started yep. their constructions yes. by weaving trees okay um and ways of making things levitate okay eventually moving on to large structures sure so you spend you've already found the books that you needed to do for the singing of mm-hmm. uh trees into uh structures um, so you're able to copy that down. Excuse me, got a gas. Um, you're able to copy that down and get that information sorted. The levitation is a little bit harder. Um, levitating individual items is talked about as part of the magic sections, and having items that are enchanted with levitation magic is doable. But in order to do anything larger than a cart, really, they are talking. They are looking at. You're going to have to have something that is a power source to provide a consistent... Yeah, and something that is used to amplify it. Make an investigation check for me to see if you can... <clears throat> nope. They're busy. Oh, guidance. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Please! Anybody else? 
Pal just walks past and sees you just deep in a book, really oh, thinking yeah, he just goes. Shit to read, but thank you. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> uh, what was it? Investigation? Yes. D5. It is not high. Uh, six. Six. Oh. The D4 rolled higher. Oh. And you... I have a plus one. Wow. Fuck. <laughs> you are it's not able to. like Jack of all trades. Yeah. He has no intelligence. Um, I'm not sorry. <laughs> You're busy. Yeah, but you know, I'm I need a break. Your investigation on what sort of things can be used as an amplifier is it turns up fruitless. Um, you know that there are mentioned two things that can be used for amplifying magic and then used for conduits of magic, uh, but you are not able to find them okay. at this time. I'll accept it for now. I'll okay. be back. Mm. Hold, please. After two new. whole days of searching a, a shop that's four by four, <laughs> two days. <laughs> uh, anyone else? It's all very new. Um, so looking for understand. more kind of ideas of how I can make. Um, and saddle. Saddle, um, okay. reins, bridle, all, all of that malarkey, and kind of aware of. Um, the fact that it it already exists mm-hmm. to a certain extent, but obviously you're trying to do it on a slightly larger scale because Griffin, not horse. Yeah, wings. Also wings. Also wings. Um, you've already found some information about making saddles, and I'll say make an intelligence check to see how well you can adapt it to Griffin as opposed to horse, because obviously there are instructions on how to make it expandable for. Larger horses. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So. With wings. An inspiration. See, why couldn't I have done that? No. He's going to no, get it's a, a badass. It's an intelligence check. It's a myth check. If I knew that, I would have. Tilly. I thought it was just skill checks, particularly. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't. Uh, just a general intelligence check would count as a, as a skill check. It's just as opposed to saying arcana or whatever. <laughs> If I'd known that, I would have guided, but I didn't. But I don't think I needed on. to. Hmm? You're being wise. No. Tilly trapped on my throat. <laughs> uh, 21. I know 21, it was, uh, okay. I felt it. <laughs> you are able to. After taking uh, the sort of notes about the construction of a saddle and then eventually just going sort of taking notes and you just take the book outside, um, you take the. You basically use it to take dimensions mm-hmm. for Desh, and in such a way that you can position the saddle so that it doesn't just have something to. It goes around his neck and goes up over his shoulders where uh-huh. his wings anchor. Yeah, yeah. And it supports there and comes underneath, and so he still has his full range of motion, but it just sort of supports it at the front so it doesn't mm. slide off the yeah, back. That, that would be something that I would be looking at because yeah. There's no point in putting something on on his back. That's just going to slide off. It's either going to slide off or impede how or how well he how flies. He can move. Yeah. Kind of so you're, you're able to construct the wind it. Bullseye. You're able to construct it. You're able to sort of get the idea of how to do it. You also look at. You've got two options of making a saddle. You could either do a sort of a molded saddle, which is more for comfort, mm-hmm. but is probably needs more material than that that you have, or you can do what's a sort of speed saddle, which is effectively just an extra. Like a thick blanket yeah. that Bas- sits over the horse. Basically, what I'm lo- looking steep. looking to make is is less about comfort and because most most of the time, it's practicality it, more than anything else. Yeah. Okay. It's like riding toothless. Kind of yes, is that sort of saddle. Um, okay, but you were able to take it, make measurements, uh, so you get the idea of the strips of leather that you're going to need in order to loop around the tor- his his neck and torso so that you can anchor it on mm-hmm. and wrap underneath his body um, and also certain buckles and such that you'll need in order to attach it. You feel fairly confident in your designs. This takes you about a day to do because Dash is being belligerent at various points. Sounds like my bird. Yep. So, yeah, you are able to do that. Absolutely. Uh, Cassian or Pal? Pal. Um, I imagine the research I was doing took a, whit- a little while. It Obviously. yeah, it took a little while to get the various bits that you're, you're specifically you're looking for. Yeah. But after that, I probably actually would go back to the cities proper mm-hmm. and explore around there. Okay. Particularly around the temple, probably. Okay. 
There's a lot of interesting things around the temple. Um, there's a lot of different stories that have been written. Some of them that appear to have been forgotten in their time. Um, that certainly are ones that you have never heard of. Um, there are you know, all sorts of different stories that you can... You spend your time just sort of getting lost in them a little bit and looking at the different gods. Probably try and note down what I could. Yeah. Um, especially if this is <coughs> knowledge yeah. we don't have at some yeah. point. And it feels odd being in the presence of Six and not Vedan. Mm. Okay. Just as a general feeling for yourself, it just feels odd that this is a this is clearly the most holy place in the city, and it's a god short. It's what? A god short. Because it only has the six, the original mm. six, because Vedan was the later god. Cassian, anything you're getting up to? Um, for starters, if we're here for one and a half days, I'm assuming we will have had a long rest. Yes, you will have had a long rest. You're here for a minimum of a day and a half. Like, yeah. you are here for a lot longer. But that's just for the construction of that shield and making it magical. Yeah, along with everyone else doing their things. Yes. Okay, just heal myself back up. Yes. Um... Well, I kind of had, I, I guess I'll just look more into, um, wood. <laughs> okay. Um, I've, I mean, you already said I kind of looked at, um, joinery things, but maybe there's like, I could look more Un- about. Unjoinery things. Unjoinery things, <laughs> okay. like more about trees. Maybe, I don't know if this would have been included in Pal's thing, but finding... Hmm? Rare trees. Well, yeah, rare trees. With magical properties. With magical properties. <laughs> Grit's, just, Grit's just telling Cassie and just like bringing out all these ideas. Mm, why don't you just look, look for the, one of these things? Like, I don't know, magical I don't, trees. I don't really, I just get told what to make. I don't really kind of, like, can't really think, like, ooh, creatively. I mean, I build buildings. Yeah. Imagine but... if there's a wood so light that it floats. So, wood. No, I'm I mean, sure sorry. Floats wood. in air. Sorry. Oh, I see. Oh, right. <laughs> so maybe I need to... All wood. That's, so, a, that's <laughs> a pretty <laughs> shit bug. A witch! A witch. <clears throat> maybe I need to find out about trees we don't know about yet. There might be some magical some... trees... That you can... Tink. Yeah. Tink. Well, this is what yeah, I was going to say. I don't know if, um, mad, like, um... Looking at different species of trees or possible like fruits and things with some of the pals cool. check, but I know it's more medicinal. But yeah, look for trees that I might not know, including okay. magical trees. And to cure the disease, you must eat this tree. <laughs> yeah, whole. Yeah. And um, it's the only cure for being a were beaver. Yeah, just see kind of what more nature okay. material thing. Sure, make a investigation oh. slash nature check, whichever it is your better. Nature. Okay, this is a... Oh. Yeah. Eight. eight. It takes you a little bit of time, possibly because the books that you're looking for have already been taken off the shelf. Um, no, I know, it's just the time that he's looking for them, you have already got them out and you're looking at them and then you go back up later. Uh, you are able to find information about some uh, rarer woods which have been... There are some books that have been spoken about that have some magical properties. Um, there are some which are particularly known to channel magic well. Um, that are, and then the, some of those which are sort of following the conjuration magic. They are found in the southern snows. Sort of the southern frost area. They tend to grow surprisingly well down there for some reason. No one's quite sure why. It's possible because they can they sort of maintain their own heat. Um, and they have been known to spontaneously combust <laughs> but not destroy themselves. Um. I'm not okay being around anything that could just combust <laughs> for no good reason. They, they, what was the word that gave them a seed? They usually hang around with guys. Combust? No, they can... Stick of dynamite and... Uh, magic. So you have to conduct. Conduct. 
Um, and there are mentions of the trees of the Airy, which are uh, is a region within the mountain range Airy. of the, the Airy, yes. As in Airy. Yes. Um, it, those trees are known to be especially light in terms of the wood. They're almost like the wood. It's incredibly porous. <laughs> Supple. Yeah, it's incredibly porous, it's quite flexible, and it's used quite well for weaponry. Good bendy sword. <laughs> Not so much that, but more for... You get a good salt side whack off it, because you are able to control it a little better. It's often... <laughs> what? Fuck. Yes, Ross? Yes. You, you have an objection to my no, choice no. of words? No, it's a good no. side whack. Yeah, a solid whack, yeah. <laughs> solid whack. It's a good solid whack. where you go if you get told to cut a switch. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. Um, but whenever Grit has a little bit of downtime, because yes. I'm pretty sure he's not making for one and a half days straight, I mean, he might do, he does love that sort of thing. You've seen those arms, I'm pissed. At them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just like, well, or, or whilst he's, um, whilst he's like mm. working, I could just be that really annoying person and be like, hey, like over your yeah. shoulder, like, hey. Yes. Um, I think, <laughs> yeah, just like, hey, hey. Um, hey, I think I found something. Um, was it a book? Yes. No, it was a list. That wasn't in a book. It wasn't a book. Damn. <laughs> it was a list. It was a list in, in a, a book. book. Book format. Um, Specifically not a book. Yeah. It was in I, a book. I, I, I don't have a coat. <laughs> you do for this one scene. I do. I have a high five. Yeah, it's like, where did it's, he keep yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um... And I'll flick to the pages, um, and I'll be like, and I'll like turn it around. You know, like when someone's really excited to show you something in the book, be like, right, this thing. I'm just trying. Still hammering. Make thing. an exercise check. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Defense. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. You're not there for that. Eleven. One Eleven. Your you managed to really not <laughs> slam into your thumb whilst you look at this book. <laughs> One part of the shield is a lot thinner than the rest. It's been repeatedly hit out. Um, this, this is a chest that hides things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This and I'll flick more pages. This is a mask that can tell people to do things, okay. and then this is a sword that makes people stronger. Now, I'm not the brightest bulb in the shed. Oh, I don't know what a bulb is. is. <laughs> I don't know, this place is making Far me think bulbs. weird stuff. Yeah. It's just a da- <laughs> it just yeah. presents a daffodil. Yeah. They glow in the dark here, I don't know what you're on about. They're holding simple. <laughs> Cassin is struck by light. <laughs> <laughs> and invents electricity. And, uh, and, his, and his hand axe glow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the yes. sharpest knife in the... Draw. Draw in the shade. That's the one. But so wants to <laughs> these. <laughs> Don't you think these could be things that Claw was maybe looking I for? I mean, yes, they could have been. Did they tell you whereabouts they went to? No. They, well, it did, it, but it, those places are no longer known. It's effectively, a, for your benefit, it is a log book of items that have been created by certain individuals. So it's got like, makers' names alongside them and then a location of where it was delivered to and a date. But the location doesn't exist anymore. Not even so on the old map that we had. The old map did not have any place names on it, which is literally just an outline of the continent. What's the point it the might be worth noting the makers' names and the locations, even if they... This is very We true. don't know anything yet, but we might find later on something. It's always better to credit the original source. Yes. But no. Yeah. Yeah. We are learning places' names as we come to them. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Some of them, anyway. Some okay, them. guys, I didn't realise you were all listening. <laughs> no, just, just literally, so, yeah. it's one of my questions. Um, because I couldn't find anything that I was after for yes. like, the last two days, I like to conduct a social experiment. Okay. <laughs> in oh, which gosh, okay. I would like to. Because everyone Troll? here is. Cu- oh, no, everyone here is in their currently in their element and is not really thinking about what everyone thinks. Mm-hmm. Everyone's grabbing stuff that they're really interested in yeah. and is trying to build it. I would just like to take note of what everyone's reading and looking at okay. and what their discussions are. So if that discussion needs something to be listened in on, because mm-hmm. that's sort of the information that I would like to lean in okay. on. I wasn't actively like trying to keep 
why at that point. Good. That makes it but even loud enough to go over the hammering and stuff. <laughs> loud enough so. to go over the hammering, but also Make a not check. loud enough that everyone could hear, but like. Oh, Where do people know? Know. <laughs> people know that? Perception. Fine guidance. They know. 18. 18. Okay. You managed to hear over the noises. Um, you sort of hear the conversation between these two. Yeah, it's basically just to try and build. Because people normally they have the little filter that's. That, 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 oh no, I'm actually a good person. Whereas, like, you know, you're trying to build weapons, you're actually crafting stuff. I'm helping out. Boring. Just waiting on what you two are going to do. I'm your he's brother. Doing he's, he's doing the shield. I'm helping yeah, on the shield. Yeah, yeah, I'm just seeing if like, they do anything else. I'm making stuff. Mm. Up. Uh, I was excited about the new ore that I found out in the mines. Yeah, just mm. keeping a general eye on what people I thought you were going to lock half of us in rooms and the other half not. Yeah. And then say some of them were prisoners and some of them were guards. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. later on. Oh, <laughs> we didn't do that with you. We did the people the second yeah. time. What did uh, what Grit and Cassie even told you guys? So far, or have you just overheard things? I've overheard so much. I feel like we did. There was some reveal. Yeah. Uh, you somewhat told us who Claw was. Yeah. Lord, um, I think that was only specific. I think that was people. a specific conversation between you yes. and Grit. Yeah. Claw is the boss. <laughs> you, and, you, and, you and Grit had that conversation around the campfire when the ghost balls showed up. Yeah. Or before the ghost yes. portion. No it's one else. Not general group knowledge. Okay, that's okay. fine. Okay. So yeah, okay. I would have. I would have. <laughs> Grit Tried follows to. an intensive line of questioning with Klaus. Claw is the boss. Yeah. So yeah, I wouldn't have openly said this in front of people. Waited for Grit to kind of be working by himself, but yeah, also yeah. with a cover of maybe the hammer going down, like a cover. Yeah, yeah the sure. Thing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, also, it might be worth asking the fabricator if it knows where. Because it was here before even this city, so it might know where all the other cities are. This is true. If I take it a map, it might be able to tell me where places are. Yes. Great thinking. I'll leave you to it, and I run off with the book and find the blue bloop. It's just over there. It doesn't leave it. Oh, oh over there. okay. Yeah, but I don't know where the forge <laughs> is. It's fair. It's all. It's it's all in the sort of a third that is sectioned off to for the construction, like a forge, and then other I think, like, construction the total bench. Floor space of this place is like the ground floor of your home, if not a little oh, bit smaller. Okay. It's much it's bigger. Bigger? Oh, yeah. right. I was thinking of it being very small. No, 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 no. It's quite big. Oh. About 80 feet. 80 feet. At least. There's at least three times the size of this, let's be fair. Um, I will go over to the blue gloop and I will... Blue man gloop. The blue man gloop. And I will say to him... I'll hold the book out like I did for Grit. Um, I don't know if you know... You obviously know a lot, um, but uh, I was just wondering if you could help me with something in one of these books. I can try. Do you know where these places are if I hold up a map? No. I've never left this place. So you don't know of the world outside? No. I only this Fossfinger. Okay. There are some parts of me that have split off and are roaming the world, but I don't know where they are. Do you know where your other repositories are? No. Oh, I think we asked this already. Didn't we? You did. <laughs> um, is the just hit dog snoring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, if I was looking for an item in one of these books, what's the best way to find it? I would recommend looking for the maker's mark. Mm-hmm. What if I don't have the item? <laughs> Do you mean the mark on the item? Sorry, the camera just flickered green for a second. I don't know why. Um, or in the books. The or... books have the makers. The, the 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 list of artisans that you are holding does have a maker's mark key in the back of it. And that relates to who made it. 
It's like a signature. I could find... As I listen over it, <laughs> this conversation's going too slowly. Yeah. As um, Brett is putting his maker's mark on the yes. <laughs> And I could find everything. out about these makers. But potentially. Do you have book of makers? I don't know. That sounded like a Luke answer. <laughs> no, the, the thing is, is that it doesn't. It knows how to make stuff. It doesn't know everything. Not, it. it can't yeah. read, so it doesn't know the contents of the library. It just knows that there are things and how they are divided up. Okay. So he, know, he knows where things are, but he doesn't necessarily. Or he knows where thing, or it knows where things should be. Doesn't necessarily know whether those things are in existence here. Okay. That detective. I will. Question. I'll flip to the back page. Back page? Yeah, the back page. The back page has got an index of just the makers. Um, it seems to be predominantly, the way that it's clustered is grouped as families. And then it's just some slight derivation of a family crest of some sort that is then converted for each generation. But you are able to find the maker's mark that correlates to the makers of those items. Okay, I will see if... And I they can... all seem to be from the same family. That's the question I was going to ask. Thank you, Luke. That's been burning in the back of my mind for my last <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> Particularly, they seem to be made from the same generation of family. Yes. It seems to be that there were, I, there were siblings that made these three items. Oh. I want to take part of the <laughs> I need to consume so all of this knowledge. So many questions. And when together, you well, considering death. Laura took a little while to do that, I will have. It, it, it will have <laughs> said okay. like the, about the maker's marks, and I would have gone back to Griff <laughs> and be like, "Okay, so the blue blue doesn't know how to find these." That's a shame. However, he told me that there's marks in the back of here yep. of people that made the stuff, and I didn't yes. know if maybe. There was something that maybe like the symbols of the people that made these things look similar. Maybe. Probably family members. Is that. That makes sense. Maybe. So do we. I wonder. I wonder if. <laughs> the. Can I pull anything from the marks? Like. Is there some sort of, I don't know, a tree or a waterfall within the mark or something that might allude to a particular location that that family is well known for being adjacent to or something? Yes, so that particular maker's mark is uh, one that is inscribed with what looks like heat waves, like Ooh. sort of like full, uh, like the waving heat. Yes. And a. Or smell. Or smell. Um, <laughs> and what looks to be the melting rock. Ooh. Maybe like a volcano or something like that. Volcano, lava pit, or something like that. Forge, maybe. Or maybe. (laughs) Um, So it could be that this family is affiliated to that, which makes sense as well, I guess, because if it's really powerful magical items, then... Fire is pretty powerful. Yeah. You need something powerful to make those... And this is why you're the brains. Um, Shall I go and write this stuff down? Oh, yes, that would be great. But I'll leave please. you to it. I'm sorry, okay. I'll go. No, I'm sorry for disturbing you. Your shield looks great. Please. I will. Fine, I'll go sit over there. Thank you, You're brother. <laughs> I'll go and make a. I'll go and make a mark. That I'll write everything down. What does Groot's Maker's Mark look like? Cigar, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Dynamite pack. Uh, it's. Um, Opti doing a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cigar that goes into a key. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yes, that's his thumb. <laughs> yes. So I was getting cold. Oh. Four jet two yeah. oxygen. Yes, <laughs> just gotta go down. Okay. Yeah, it's obvious as the moon of Lumens and then a wolf said. It's cold. So you've got so I imagine, because you probably would have put your maker's mark on it from making the shield, and whilst you're making it, I imagine oh. what you've done is whilst you've done it's your moon... We're both putting our mark on yeah. Well, yeah, no, what I imagine is what happened is you've done yours, and you've done the moon and the wall's head, and you've just drawn it so it's got a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I would love to, I haven't <laughs> done that. <Aww. laughs> 
That's just in my no, head. So I, so I think that's that's an opti. Yes, that is a, that is hundred percent what Ross would do. Yes, yes. So yes. what Grit would have but done. Grit is very very sensible about <laughs> making proud making of yes. his yes. items. The two things are next to each other. Yes. So right. what would on the front of the shield like been of your symbol? Like, no, both on the both on the back and the inside ring. Oh, okay. I thought you were, yeah. yeah. Your okay. one's got the moon everything on the back. Is <laughs> when you're holding it, it's just grit's face. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just the opposite of the of the uh, shield of Perseus, which is your Medusa's face on it. Uh, something like face this way, or don't face this way, or <laughs> this way front, this way front, <laughs> okay. this, this, this way up. up. <laughs> The classic like claymore things they have on the like claymores. Yeah, point it's towards the no right yeah. yeah. It's great that they have to put that on military equipment. Yeah. 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 Not at I'm all. Stuck in the ground. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these words upside down? Oh fuck. nobody <laughs> fucking move. Alright. So is there anything else that you would like to research? Make any conversations that you would like to have regarding uh, the no, future? To make a lock. Okay, tiny little padlock. And Grit does want some. Books. Yes, but hello. Mm. Um, Which, to be fair, you could ask the fabricator to do it. Oh, I could. It it's just quicker. Like With <laughs> a little bit of flexibility from Fuck the DM. Really. Oh dear. Yes. Uh, no, it's only a little bit. Would you say that if you had two parts that closed with a lock on it, that would be like a chest? Uh. Potentially, is a locket a chest? I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out whether, it's small, chest, whether yeah. a book closed with a lock on it could be a chest. Where are you going with this? I just, <laughs> I just want to do arcane lock, but it's very specific about the things you can. Oh sure. Lock. Excellent. Uh, I will does it specify lock. a chest? It specifies a door, window, gate, chest, or other entryway. It's a window. It's an to entry book. to the knowledge. Entry <laughs> yeah. to knowledge. Yeah. Entry. Some other sort of knowledge. Um, <laughs> sure, because what the fuck difference does it make? <laughs> So, I will cast our arcane lock on it, and I will designate and uh, myself as well. Yes. That's, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not necessarily. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. Should have asked the fucking. <laughs> oh, it. oh, it does need some gold dust, but I presume there'd be enough oh, in the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> You've got shit of gold. Oh yeah. Do you want actual gold? <laughs> Is it uh, is this a spell that you have yourself, or is this one of your arcane, one of your um, dwarvenly your dwarven abilities? Yes. yes. Double check that because it might say something about material components Ooh. because it is your. I will. Let's see. It might still be a chest, but can we do have the materials? Because uh, regardless of whether you have the materials, but it's worth mentioning. You don't need the material components for them. There you go. Mm. Worth no- worth knowing those things. Essentially, just so you know, you, in a second, Tom. you had da, 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 da. the object is more difficult to, or to break or force open. The DC to break, pick, uh, break it or pick any locks on it increases by ten. Great. You still have to make a, get a small padlock done for it to be cast upon. But I have the 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 forge, the blue mangle loop. Yeah. Make me an exquisite lock. Thanks, Danny. Have a good night. Infinite out. Oh. Hey. That is infinite, but infinitely there until someone dispels it, basically. Fantastic. Nice. Tom. Um, I'm pretty, I might have a little time just mm. to browse. Yeah. I'm going to check, see if uh, there might be anything on names. There might not be. But names in general, the nature of the name. When you say names, what specifically are you looking for? Just um, people's names, family names. I think I just burnt that. <laughs> the only thing that you're able to find is pretty much the same sort of makers, uh, the log books, effectively of different items that are crafted. So there's a list of list of names. List of that's yeah. about names. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, it seems to be that. Okay. The majority of this specific library's uh, collection is about construction and the making of things. There may be other repositories out there which have knowledge of history and other aspects, but that is not this place, unfortunately. Okay. Um, 
However, during your research, you did find that there were some of the plants that you have come across are available, and you re remember seeing them on your walk here. Ah. In particular, some of the massive flowers were mentioned. The sort of stamen of those particular flowers were used for the passion uh, of the passion, as well as the good berry bushes were used in particular for healing potions. I shall add those notes to my my little yes exercise. You've, as you're sort of going across them, you have recognised some of them as you retroactively gone. Oh yeah, we've gone past that already. So you know kind of the climbs that they grow in as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, come the end of this sort of two-day period, the leather is cured and is in a position to be used for your saddle. Woohoo! And <laughs> other items. There is sufficient here, once you have sort of gone through and cut through it, to make a saddle and something else. Okay. Give me some... <laughs> makes a very oh, yeah. big. Oh, yeah. I've got this campaign. I've got a cool item. Yeah, ghost hat. Ghost hat. Could be As you hat. move, the hat just vanishes and leaves. Yeah, exactly. Hat. I'm busy, so the priority. Yeah, this is the end of those two days. Oh. So you have now finished the construction of the shield. Oh. Does it come out as a plus one shield? It does come out as a plus one shield. Yay! It's been a pleasure working on this with you. Yeah, it's been great. Oh, thank I'm God. gonna that fucking ringing has stopped. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make some more stuff because I still wanna make Cassian's axe and sort out the patch for the ship, but that's not gonna be, ma be magical. Did you say it stopped? I can still do it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to it after What did you guys say? Your weapon is a uh, maul, isn't it? Sorry? Your weapon is a maul, isn't it? Uh, I also have a war hammer. Okay. So I do have a one-handed weapon I can use with the shield. That's fine, I was checking. <laughs> and some javelins. Yes. <laughs> nice. For all those times you want to launch something. Whilst they have some lit, if you want some company whilst you're making it, give me a shot. Oh, you're welcome to watch. Have you got other things you want to get on with? That's fine as well. I think I have a thousand other things I need to get on with. <laughs> you found Cedric's happy... Cedric? You found Grit's happy place. You should go through every single one of my characters yeah! this evening. <laughs> no. oh, bring them back. No, I just need to remember what was the, uh, what was the minus, wasn't it? Probably <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. door. No, that was my, that was my NPC. I think of Ross's... Uh, on the, it was Archon, wasn't it? Yeah. Action. 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 Anyway, so what is a spin off we had with yeah. all those characters that were like, you know what, we're, uh, we're playing out really good characters, let's play something. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you have as long as you would like to spend here effectively, if there's any other projects that you would like to embark on, if you would like to start anything you'd like to make, anything you'd like to go off and do, any plans you would like to have uh, after you have finished here and where you want to go next? I would like to sit down with everyone and have a good conversation about transportation. Mm. Okay. Uh, grit, mostly, just for your technical nows. But while we're in a place that can make just about anything that we can think of, yes, we could really do with... It, it roll gets to be great. But we could do with a mode of transport that can get people from Seven Home yes. to Newfound Town. Yes. Newfound Town to here and back to Seven Home. Yes. I thought we didn't want to bring people here. Eventually, we'll, we'll be, even if it's not people, we need to be able to ship out materials. products. We need, we, need, no, we need materials to come in and products to come out. Mm -hmm. okay. So yes. we've got so much. Yeah, we've, we've, yeah, it's a great currency exchange system because we've got so many bricks at Newfound Town oh, that can yeah. be used to create. And large isn't there loads of bricks or something in Arendash? Yeah, exactly. And we've got the mines that we went through, which has got raw materials that can be pre like transported with the cart system. Into the canal system, we just need to be able to get them from the canal system. Well, we've got that here. big train. Exactly, rail that, that, that helps bring it up, but we need to get it back here. Well, we That's have the barge. barge. But wouldn't you think it would be faster if we had some sort of giant pulley system? 
Which would Saying be that, look at produced. this map. Durandesh is a lot closer to here exactly. than it is Newfound Town. But Newfound Town also has a lot of materials that it, it provides itself. So, wait, the canal's going the other way, isn't it? The canal's going north. It wouldn't matter. Mm. Yeah, so we wouldn't, couldn't rely on the canal going that way. We'd have to have something to pull. bring it down. <clears throat> what do you it's, think? The, the canal flows one way, but you can go both ways on this. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Bees. Now, now back from, from, from where me and Klaus are from, <laughs> The most terrifying these... image ever of a barge being spoiled by a swarm of bees. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bees the size of a rugby ball as well, just yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're bees of burden. Yeah. Oh. 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 I'm pretty sure I made that shit joke as well. <laughs> you. Yeah, but you did, yes, I should have said it out loud. I said no because I was embarrassed about it. <laughs> Dom yeah. has no. Don't want to be your bees of burden. No I sang it because I'm pretty sure that's no. a song by someone. Fair. Bees of burden. Jeez. Do not yeah, question is are they well going to use anyway uh, yeah, but yes. well, from, from where me and, uh, and Klaus are from um, there used to be popular um, places for tourism travel up in the, <coughs> the high mountains where people used to go and um, throw themselves down large snow clad mountains Sorry, where are you from yeah. again you wouldn't know it it's fine I thought we were the, yeah, we were the only one. people on this. Uh, I will point yeah. out that we, for you three at least, are aware of their history and their yeah, backstory. You we may not be from here, here y'all. <laughs> you, you do not know this because you were busy trying to put a... I mean, Sorry? there's no... There's... no. Well, you were there for that. Because yeah. it was it was as you were going into the moon theatre, as you were going down there, and you uncovered the fact that they were undead. No, Tom wasn't was there for it. No, so Tom, Tom wasn't there. Neither Powell. was there. Powell was, was there. Why, Tom wasn't. All right. Uh, None of the yeah, players were there. All of the characters were there. Yeah, None of the yeah, players. Grit, grit, grit and Palin Chester were there. Cliff note version yeah. for them. But but basically, along the lines of there would be these large uh, no, wheels. Sorry. Um, no, sorry. Cliff no version of your backstory for yes. the players oh, so that don't know it. Just remind Hi, us. my name's Elijah. <laughs> this is Klaus. Not me. Uh, we're not from around here because mm. basically when the world exploded, we were in a small escape attempt from our father. And while we were running for our dear lives, there happened to be a crack in uh, like a rift. And we thought, Fuck it, it's better than what is happening here. So we jumped into it and ended up here. Is the short version. So you were in the world before it exploded? We witnessed it and ran away. Um, is this cliff notes for players? Because I don't want Cassian to know any of this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, you know what? I'll, I'll be saying it, but I'll have no, my no, back no. to you. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. That was Cliff Notes for players, because yeah. everyone is. So you're going to carry um, on as if the yeah. people throw so, themselves down the mountain. Yes. Yeah, so everyone in, knows in what you're on about, but I'm just there in like, what? In, in actual talking to Tom, uh, we were in the shadow fell, and a rift opened up while we were running away from my father, and we just jumped into it because he was trying to kill us, and we were all going to die. Sorry, I just have a follow up question. I just suddenly remembered from the I was meant to ask you last time. Absolutely. Why are you so nervous that your father's going to follow up, find you then? Oh, because he's uh, a very terrifying human being. Oh, oh no, it's not human mm, being. Human being, probably the wrong word. Mm, very terrifying monster. No, okay. But is he not in the other side of that rift? He, uh, well, <laughs> hopefully, Maybe. we hope. Uh, Did the rift close behind you? We think so. As we jumped through it, our sister, God rest her soul, uh, as we the jumped through, sister, yes. he grabbed hold of the sister, she went through, he might have gone through. We're hoping it shut and it's just missing an arm, and then the world exploded. Right. Well, to a certain extent, we're also hoping that she didn't come through. Because you also don't like her. Yeah. Well, we don't like each other. Mm. Also, you know, Dad. I always missed having a family, but talking to you, I don't anymore. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Cassian's, glad I'm getting it across well. Cassian's gone off to find snacks. 
Yes, <laughs> um, he sense. doesn't hear any of this. He comes back. Like you started talking about things. I he got hungry. I can't he wait for he the has some cheese. So, what, um, what do you? How do you get? Oh, yeah, you got the cheese in the bag. Hold it. Thank you. Yeah, the cheese. Yes. No, so when, when we used to go on, um, we used to call them city breaks. Uh, we would go away. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, I mean, we were there for they a were, brief while. They were in a. They were in the a world before the shadow fell. An alternative plane. This plane was brought uh, into existence. Yeah, and then they went into the Shadowfell <laughs> from that material plane. <laughs> Eventually, you think of it as if they came from Sol Risa into the Shadowfell and then into this room. So they had skiing in Sol Risa. <laughs> it's rad. <laughs> in Fiaros somewhere. But basically, sure. when we used to go on these city breaks, mm. to quicken the journey up the mountain, yes. we would essentially have what would be like a giant water wheel. And the water wheel would spin, yes. and there would be a cable, one at the top, one yes. at the bottom, mm-hmm. and it would pull. These lovely carts, which what, you would sit what up. What it? The water itself. The water would flow right. and draw. The there was an actual water wheel. Yes. Right. Okay. But upright, almost, and it would pull the, the, the carts backwards and forwards. Make <laughs> magic. Mean, I can do what I want. You mean horizontal? <laughs> yes, I do. <did. laughs> pull the wheel. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. I, so I talked to him about this. It's a crap idea, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> and it would pull you to the top, yes. and, and subsequently, people at the top could come to the bottom if they didn't want to. Uh, come down the mountain and I thought we could implement that here going from different from place to place but over a much larger scale that's quite a large scale I think it's the but point. it would keep people out of the leech giant scorpion infested water how do you maintain it well we're in this lovely forge no are you genuinely um, suggesting a ski lift from one place yes. to another Instead of gondolas going. That's Basically, a long way. Sea gondolas. Oh. No, not vertically. More of it, it's actually in the water. It would just pull you along with a big chain attached to. So you basically think more oh, log what? So you're, so you're just creating your log. Yeah, think <laughs> log <laughs> flues. So rather than having like horses so pull like along the canal. So just a big winch that can pull things along with right. canals. But exactly, but it would just run in a circle. The hmm. shipment of why lunch. couldn't you do something more localized? Have a small. This is why I've proposed it to you. Machine ones. with a cable that just. If I wanted to do this shot. myself, I would have, but I also understand that I'm not all that intelligent. You could do it. I'm just thinking about that's a lot of material, and we'll say, say something breaks, you'll then have to go and fix it, and you. But it wouldn't be us that had to fix it. But take the whole. Um, we would have other people. Right, okay, right. But it'd take the whole thing if it down. Was- Powered by the canal itself moving, the movement of the water. Well, we've got this, it would be this very slow. As well, no, because well. we've got this this got lovely 50. wall over here, which has a great source of power going through into the actual ocean and the whirlpool. A giant whirlpool. I'm just saying we could we could throttle it. We could, we, like, you could, yes, you could. The closer gear you it built, up. the closer what you if, built it to the whirlpool, the faster it would be. Just going on crazy ideas. <laughs> what if you got a really long piece of rope with a weight on the end of it, and you threw it into the whirlpool, and on the other side you attached it to a boat really far away? I thought you were about to say you attached it to yourself. And it <laughs> pull, oh, that! And it pulls <laughs> the weight into the whirlpool and pulls all of the boats along with it like a train. I've just made up. It's going to be called a train because it's a train of train of. Yeah, I, I see, I see, I see. Yes, it's not what I would conventionally call a train, but I, I just think you could have something smaller, I'm, more local to one. I, I'm just proposing it or as a potential I'm, idea. A boat. I'm not sure this is practical, but if you were going yeah. to try and do something <laughs> powered to pull things, <laughs> we know the gates Honestly. are powered to open and close. Maybe you could have a chain fixed to them and so I'm going to ratchet so as the gates open and close. I'm just thinking of trying to make it easier to ship large, heavy goods from one place to another. Well, we already have the giant train from Durandesh to that point. Yeah, so that's maybe. most of the journey done that way. It's just that little bit up the river to get us to New Fountain. How the train cars? The they were substantial. They were pretty, they were like oh, goods wagons. They were. But it was a singular goods wagon. Is this why you were looking at levitating stuff? We we're going to make like a mag row. Alright, so now we're going to go play Maglev Metro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you actually just tried to turn this into your capitalist uh, dystopia. <laughs> yes. Do you not think it'd be great? 
I mean, none of us know what money is. <laughs> I did. I just spent a vast majority of it on a book. <laughs> <laughs> Which, to be fair, does happen. I mean, by that example, you're not selling us on it. Hey, you know, if you don't want to be a part of it, you don't want to be a part oh, of it. No. We've right, got so we'll vote to kick uh, Palimpsest out. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wow. say aye. aye. No. <laughs> God damn it. Aye, <laughs> come about it. <laughs> God damn it. That's democracy I, for you. It's an interesting <laughs> idea. But if you want a power source for things like the barge we found, you know, we know there are animals around. It might be easier to tame some of them. Slave and get them, for labor. And get them to draw things. I mean, aren't you talking about enslaving it's different them? different when you give it a different title. <laughs> Call it like executive manager of pulling. <laughs> <laughs> That's, me on a night out. That's why he's got such high currency. <laughs> yes, exactly. What we need is more. Basically, we've got, 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 got a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't have one of those salesmen. If you have built the first me campaign. my pulley <laughs> system, I'll give you a cool 10% yeah. <laughs> of something. <laughs> I just think we put a power source on a barge or a boat. And that just and moves drive it. it. And you you've don't got move. a power source you can put on a boat? I mean, we could probably come up with something. I mean, that sounds way better. Sure, let me think about it. I mean... Well, yeah, this is why I called it right. I'm not going to build it now. It's just... If the wind's going the right direction, could maybe catch the wind? You could. Doesn't sound very reliable. I wouldn't want to be waiting on no a large shipment we, of materials we, 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 we because could, it's not windy. We could build a treadmill and some puzzle and you could walk in that to move it. That sounds exhausting. <laughs> if you heated up the water, it would create vapour. <laughs> steam. <laughs> and then with <laughs> that... Steam. Some sort of <laughs> steam locomotive. Yes. You could then... Use the steam to do locomotion. Power something. It needs a lot of pressure for that to work. Yes. I'm gonna, you know, I'm I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure. Oh, constantly. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to want to spend another day or so making. The oh sure, yeah. We'll come back. I'll come, 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 come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm you could look in the books and see if there's anything like that. Is there anything under there like a like a two Any litre TDI or, or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> Make an investigation check. <laughs> Yeah. What? Come on, VW book. Uh, surely Grit's looking for intelligence or investigation. 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 Yeah, I'll oh, I'll give you guidance. Oh, yeah. Assist, because we're having this conversation. Sure, with advantage, because it's during downtime, effectively. I mean, it's all downtime. Or mm. yeah. oh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. <laughs> I'll take a uh, one-liter diesel to start with. <laughs> so, what you managed to find are. Uh, the instructions of the construction of the engines that are used to open and close the locks. Mm. And having found this information, you can sort of see how they run. They run from a magical power source that draws energy from motion and stores it within a gemstone that uses it as a battery, effectively, to then like power it. It's effectively... Uh, it's effectively got an impeller so that water movement in it can keep it going. It's not quite perpetual motion because it doesn't need water to be fed into it to sort of build up the pressure. But you can model it so that you could have some of that energy goes off to push the water into the impeller, which then causes the flywheel and gives it a little bit extra. You get the gems from the mine. Um, yes. So that can be then done to create a effectively a rotary engine. That could be attached to something like a fan, or a propeller, or a boat. Well, I was, thinking, I was thinking, yeah, the whole thing could be then put into a boat, and then the impeller. Mind you, an impeller itself would also push things along. Just the progression of water just needs to be in water. This is why I brought it up. We've got progression. Yeah. So then I, my, my version would have been way cooler. I like the, the pulley system, but I just it raises more questions. I just didn't know how advanced this place could be. I mean. It's, uh, I know, so it's hard to understand how advanced it is, because, you know, fabricator, that's way beyond anything I could even imagine doing. I know. You know Next time we come across a mountain that has some sort of snow-based substance in the winter, I'm building a fully. <laughs> Any idea how long it takes to set up those... With a fabricator? Lifts? Not very long. 
All we need is a large supply of a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and to persuade the fabricator to come on a skiing holiday. Yes. When you describe it to the fabricator, they'll want to go. I bet his persuasion skin has I bet he snowboards. I bet he snowboards. Okay. Right, cool, man. Uh, oh, no. I've just made a shield. I could go yes. shield. Sir. You could go yes. to bargaining. Yes. <laughs> Safes. Yes. Any. Thank you. <laughs> any book on safes? Uh, yes. Are you. there any safes? I would like to consume them all. Okay. I'm how many books are there? Of course, you should say about no. Make an investigation check to see how many you find. Guidance. Thank you. Dick. Uh, yeah. You were made twice. That is twenty. Twenty. You were able to find a dozen books on different safes, um, different constructions, different levels of difficulty. <laughs> There's one book on the cracking of safes, which is interesting. Yes, so but cracking. good to know. Yes. Um, good to cracking of safes. Yes, you were able to find a dozen books on safes. Okay. I will take many notes. Okay. Many notes are made. Many, many, many notes. Many, many notes. So we haven't actually come to a conclusion of how we're going to move this no. stuff about. No. <laughs> or what's next? Because apparently what's we next? can't have a full existence. <laughs> well, Not just yet. I think we need to be able to get materials to places to make the pulley system. But to do that, we need to initially. I thought we were going to build stuff. a motor for the boat. We're mil- building a motor for a boat. Yeah, what really? do we need for that? Special jams. So and special jam. Why? Do, why are we taking a boat? Where are we taking a boat? To help us move around the canals. Okay. Yeah. So mm. from here, the only place we can go by canal is back to Correct. New Film Town. Mm. And then to the most the way to the well end that goes back to the keep of Devendesh. But then, by the looks of this yes. map, the canal going that way back. Pretty much goes into Darundesh. Which so. I remember, the canal was not navigable all the way. No, there were a couple of hills that got in the way that you had that the canal went underwater. Oh, sorry, under land. Effectively went into tunnels, but was not navigable by foot. Uh, presumably not by boat either. No, mm. not unless it was a submarine. And we could also take it down at least part of the way down that western. Branch. Yeah, go and explore that way. Maybe. Or we can go into the gorge and see if there's anything left in the mines. Well, if we need metal and ore and jewels, maybe the mines and canyons is probably the best place Don't to go. There next. is that creature that we disturbed and ran away from. Ran away from in the mine before you. Oh, the little, the, oh, the, the little lizard. Yeah, the lizard. What and some, about some people that? fought and that was in the railway pit. Yeah, yeah. And you and I did. Oh, oh where there's gems. There's so many gems in there. I mean, possibly, but we do have a gorge, like literally, like and I'll point to the wall outside. Like it's, like it's out there. Like you can see the waterfall coming down from it. So I'd say it's probably a bit closer than going all the way back there. But we know where to get jewels if this place is not. But this place doesn't have a, a, a water supply going to it. It's not a canal going to it. Oh, no, we would absolutely You'd have, have to, to go and... It. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we're going yes. to have to walk wherever we're going, because we don't have the gems to make a motor yet. Or a pulley system. Unfortunately, we I think we're going to be walking for quite a while still. Okay. Well, it gives me time to design it. That's fine. You Based might. on your travels thus far, just as an FYI, going from... Uh, place to place. You're probably looking at about 10 days to get to where that main mine is highlighted on the map. It's quite a while. Yes. Mm. That presumably is why well, I'm Hello. Bottom <laughs> of the gorge. It is at the bottom <laughs> of the gorge, But I mean, the ten, 10 days walking is the, or 10 days worth of walking distance laterally. That is assuming that terrain is favourable and yes. such. I have a s- sneaking suspicion that it won't be. You can walk along the upper ledge of the gorge, or you could go into it and explore down that way. It is up to you guys if you choose to go that way. How deep is it? You have no idea. Mm. 
It's a 2D It's a 2D map. Can I ask Winsome to fly over there and tell us how deep it is? Take that, just help us make a decision. Yes. Winsome goes off and says, have a look. It looks like it's maybe 50 feet or so from uh, this entrance of it, but it looks as if the terrain goes up from here and it, the gorge gets deeper. Could you see if there's room to walk beside the river at the bottom? Oh, yes, there is. It's well, certainly there wide. There is a river at the bottom. Yes. About six pence. I would argue it's actually eight days away. <laughs> <laughs> By, just by the your measurement. Your own scale. Just right, by yeah. the measurement on your scale. I did do it myself and I counted out seven days, so I wasn't oh. far off. But I think I, uh, I I'm, however, doing it, I'm doing however, it from my eye at a distance. Because, so. because it is new, it probably would take us a few days. Is that going to go maps <laughs> to help you with your... Yeah. <laughs> with your judgment. Okay, so that's, <laughs> so that sounds like a plan, Jeez. maybe. So well, after we're done making stuff here, go off and along the bottom of the gorge and see if we can find the mines and see if we can find stuff there to make even more things. I do like things. No, I think metal or ores or something. We need to keep in mind, remember what we walk past because they may be important later on. Yes. Mm. That's why Winsome's drawing the map so that if we come with anything of interest, he can make a note. Yes. Right, Winsome. Yes, I can can do that. Good Good, good, Let's good, good. Forest, this whole place. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I will tie myself to the trees. Okay, see you later. How many trees can you tie yourself to? I don't it's... know. Let's no, find out. He's got really big arms. <laughs> but if no one sees him, <laughs> just catch it through. Scream. See the <laughs> catch it through the trees. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You can't hear him yeah, being tied yeah. to the trees. Yeah. 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 If a tree falls on Cassie, yeah. <laughs> but no one's around to hear it, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Uh, One more book search for a question. Yes. Coins. Mm-hmm. Yes. Coin. Anything on said coins? You do not find anything about the coins. I feel like it's too. Uh, it's a plot book, story telling it. rather than making, yeah. so not necessarily. They, like it, they were not. They were not. Cre- than... From what you gather, they yes. were coins that were created yes. by the gods, by yes. Foss and um, the other gods. That I, I need to make a note of my gods. Yeah, here. Yeah. I was just looking for them to see if I you made this one. Well, I can't happens. remember everything about them. <laughs> I've got so many gods that I've created. So Come on, this island's only. That's why you go with what do you one. reckon? <laughs> Forty-six days across. <laughs> it's questionable. Uh, no, this was uh, with Polites. There you go. Polites yeah, and yes. Foss. <laughs> Foss has been berated. I remembered. <laughs> We're buying you time. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It seems that they created those and used those to make people do things. So it's not. It wasn't a creation that was made by the mortals. Yeah. And they never imitated it. They may have tried, but there was nothing obvious of it. Technically, don't I have an imitation of it? No. It's just a crappy plus one. You just have a coin. It's a luck coin. It is a lucky coin, yes. It's a lucky coin. What is happening over there? Oh. Oh, 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 I see you've started recording now. No, we haven't started recording. Uh, so yeah, you've got red and yellow in the corner. Oh. Oh, you say it started recording because it went oh, red. Oh, look at that. 3,000 drop red. frames. Yeah, as long as it's a bit funny. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a Mexican wave. Why are you looking oh, at the wrong Sorry. Bit? I don't know what's happened. Anyway, we'll carry, oh, we'll carry on with that. What? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, look, that's going to make me do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Peer pressure. No. Let's do it again. So, I'd, I'd like to point out that Steph was. Oh, there you go. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Matt didn't do it, so. Oh. oh. That's bad. Anyway. Listening and did it. Anyway, there's, there's something is going off that's not. Let's go put that there, see if that helps it cool down. <laughs> that's what you do when you're waiting for the interlude during like sports 
games. Yeah, this is clearly a high intensity sports game. Yeah, so we just. That's what music covers there, Ross. Weird. I don't know so, why it's on. I don't know why it's on these stuff. Rather than acting like an American. Don't worry, it's red is good. <laughs> Means it's fast. Wait. Name one time Ferrari has ever is messed up. Stream? <laughs> Str- yeah, the stream just got into the <laughs> <game>. this <laughs> room. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, right. Let's ignore that and carry on. Is there anything else that you are wanting to no. research or do? You're building uh, a hand axe. Making the hand axe for Cassian and nice. patching up the barge. Okay. The patch has been made for the barge. Um, uh, we're making smithing checks just to sort of do the general repairs. This one is with, I'd say this one is intelligence because it's making it so that it's watertight. Can I get some assistance from Chris then? You may. I will play you a song of inspiration. I'll be inspired. I mean, you could also ask Grit to do it for you because nah, Grit is wing it. <laughs> smarter. Watch it this way. So intelligence plus proficiency. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm holding it for oh, so long. Safe. Charging Spence them up. Charging those dice. I should have charged them better. Yeah. Overcharged. Uh, 14. 14? Okay. Uh, you are able to... You've got the patches. You're able to sort of patch them up and so It does take you a day to do it. Okay. But you are able to do so. Is this on the barge? Sorry. Yeah. I literally have the mending spell. I could have just done it, but it's great to see you do that. <laughs> hey, you can do that afterwards. Yeah. You're helping. Go, yeah, You're helping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, once you try to do it, go home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow, like, isn't this amazing? <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Actually, make it waterproof. <laughs> It's finished a lot. Quite jumpy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. My oh, well. computer's overheating. Okay, that's another day. And then making, and then making the hand backs for Cassio. Yay, thank you. Okay. Uh, this will be smithing with strength. Um, are you doing anything with this hand axe? Or are you just making a, a base hand axe to be upgraded later? Uh, making a base hand axe. Uh, the only thing I'm going to try and do is, as the blade flares out, um, do like a tree design on it. Okay. Aww. The bottom of the handle has roots. So I'll say first of all, make this will be with strength for the actual smithing, and then there'll be one for dexterity for the uh, detailing. I think I might ask Grit to give me a hand with the detailing. I have a feeling he's more dexterous. Okay. If I ever lose it, it'll turn into a trial. I am okay. just just ever so slightly more dexterous. If you ever lost it, it would just go for forever. Uh, yeah, that's a 16 a on the smithing. A tiny axe mm-hmm. blade on. Okay. No, the, the Able to make the axe easily enough. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know how to do it, All right. So, uh, natural one was that? Yep. All right, so two. <laughs> okay, so as, as you... Did someone change that, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you start... As you start you know, hang over the axe, you mm. well crafted to start making the detail. It's beautiful. <laughs> Basically, you take it and you start to sort of t- tinking along, and then you... <laughs> <laughs> And if you sort of take the axe away, you just see that the the blade has been split, and now a chunk of it has come off. Lots of I'll, it. I'll mend it, but it's so, st- obviously still going to look slightly. Um, I mean, you managed to you managed to repair it, but it doesn't have any of the the detailing. Looks terrible. It's dwarfish. It's got character. Yeah. 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 Here you go, Cassian. This is from me and Grit. I, I made the axe and Grit did the decoration. <laughs> I've made this for you. It's a smouldering piece of shit. <laughs> Thanks, mm. guys. I will treasure this forever. It will be my new second <laughs> fighty <laughs> axe. No, thank you, guys. I really, it's really like print. it. So you can make a note that you have an Arcanium hand axe. Arcanium? Oh, Arcanium! Uh, but that uses another five gold worth of your alloy <gasps> for an axe that's going to disintegrate when it's first hit. So arcanium is an alloy that is good for magical integration. So at a later point, if you want to get it enchanted, it will be easier to enchant. Ooh. 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 Hello, um, Elijah. Hello. Um, do you ever use daggers? 
I do. I had one once, and then we got into a conflict with a snake. Would you like two? I would love two. I don't have any please, left. Please have my two daggers. Fantastic. And then use them. I have two holsters, and they're just empty. I'm, I'm <laughs> pretty sure I threw one at one point and left it. And then I threw on a snake and it missed, and I really didn't want to go uh, back in there. Whoa, the cheese the cave. The cheese, cheese snake, yeah. yeah. They're nothing special. But Doesn't matter, uh, they're pointy. Uh, daggers. Okay. So, I will say, if this is going to be the last time that you are going to be in this point and then you're moving on, if there are any projects you would like to be done in your absence, the fabricator could do those. Oh. At least the rest of the mythology to be broken down into ingots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can do that. Um, anything else? I can't think of anything right now. Are we just getting the barge back up and do a bit more working on and clearing the dock out? Get them just kind of on the scraps of the ghost boar hide. Mm. Yeah. A pair of boots, please. Oh, do I want a hat? You said a hat. No, I, I don't a want a ghost hat. hat. <laughs> ghost ball hat, man. No boots. That's <laughs> sensible. <laughs> Maybe a hat another time. Great, I'd love, great, I'd love, great. Yeah. Just get another boot. Okay. Get another so, you're able to, so you want a set of ghost ball boots and, yes. feet again, and a ghost gosh. ball saddle. You want yeah. that to be made in your absence? Okay. Yes. They are able to do so easily enough. Uh, the yeah, they're probably going to take about a week or so to make, so... Um, how much extra of this um, easily magically enchanted metal do we have? Uh, Just um, under 1,800 gold pieces. Holy man. shit! It was a large creature and had a lot of bits. Get, like, when you say large, you mean... It was a large yeah, creature. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it was a, it was a large bee-sized creature. Can we, just call these, can we just call creatures in size to us? Not large for their No, they were I can twice see myself was... getting really pissed off in describing it was... dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> Halflings are... Yeah, it's like a corner-sized <laughs> creature. <laughs> uh, no, it was, uh, eight, it was eight feet across. What was? The middle lane. It's a lot of feet. It's more than Connor has. It's more than any of us. I'm going to slide. Yeah, if thinking. someone actually had eight feet, that's all. <laughs> um, I'd like to use some of that to make a like a like a magic eight ball sized. Uh, oh, through, is that an actual magic I'd love ball? a magic eight ball. Uh, it's a got bit, D20. Which I'm gonna attempt to experiment on with the harnessing of magical power. Okay. They are the sphere. That sphere is easy enough to make. Yeah, just but, yeah, just instead of making an ingot, they just make it into a thing. So you have. I will say it's about 100 golds worth of that material that you just have as a sphere of mythium. It's a very expensive paper, mate. <laughs> it's not very good because it just it rolls, rolls away. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, that happened. It's only used on perfectly flat tables. <laughs> with no wins. <laughs> with no wins. Get it in charge with accuracy and then invent tent in bowling and just... <laughs> Or just make your weapon just lob it at someone because mm. it's probably quite heavy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah until fighting someone I am. Sling. I'm going to bludge it to death when I <laughs> Okay. So, with. What? Cannonballs would be cool. Use it with a squirrel MP, can. Like, I don't know. <laughs> the fireball spell within them <gasps> so when they hit. Yeah. <laughs> Not only do you get hit on with a, a fireball, you actually get absolutely clouted with about five <laughs> kilos of <laughs> midfield. Yo! Bam! Yo! Oh. Bust your ribs and then sound fire. Yo! I like <laughs> this idea. Delayed blast cannon for the fireball and just let it. <sighs> just a real big fuck you attached to that one. <laughs> Okay, Defense. so with that, you begin your preparations to depart, heading south down towards the mines, if that's right. Yeah. Yes. And that is where we shall bring tonight's session to a close. Okay. Mm. Stuff made and things prepared and stuff. stuff and things. Knowledge gathered and such. So yeah, we will be back next Friday to continue on our adventure and we will be here again on Wednesday where we are going to be streaming another board game. Uh, and Candle Corner. And, and have Candle, candle corner. corner. Running out of candles, we probably need to get some more. Mm. Zeus Schooner's just turned uh, up. It's a hey.
Are you? It's your are fault you, for being late, Scoop. Are you booing that we're leaving, or are you? Oh, you just got here. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. You can watch us back on YouTube. Yeah. That's the perfect. You know what? Yeah. That's so oh, good. sad face. Sad robot face. <laughs> you know what? I will send you across to Panda Angel. Panda Angel. <laughs> um, fuck yes. As closing <laughs> sentences go. Yeah. I'm just saying something now. Send her over to Panda. What are we just talking about? Yeah. What are we talking about? Just pause. Scoon got here. Uh, uh, Scoon got uh, candle corner. Candles. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, candle corner. Yeah, we're not. Well, to be fair, I did do three in one go, so I might oh, revisit blew them. Three in one yeah, go? Yeah, I went didn't nuts. realise it's it was... a candle corner. It's a whole <laughs> I didn't realise it, it would make its own segment, so I kind of just panicked, grabbed three just to like show people what they could buy. It has candles. It has candles. Um, but um, I'll go back and I will actually like I will Let's go. smell them and rate them and like ex ex. How I feel about them. And come up with the best description of them. Smells like your nan's bathroom. Your nan's bathroom because it has nice flowery potpourri in it. Like that's what my nan's bathroom always smells like. So I apologise if your nan's bathroom does not smell like that. Alrighty, everyone. Get her some potpourri. Yeah. Thank you very much, everyone. A Hyrulean forest candle. That will also work. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here. We'll see you again on Wednesday and next Friday. Until then, take care of yourselves and goodbye.